Welcome back. Nutsack. So, uh, interestingly enough, I, uh, I uploaded this video yesterday about basket manipulation and it, uh, boy, were we dead on. Or were we spot on with the decode? But I missed something. Where is it at? Well, let me have him show you. So we're going to review this video by Enter the Stars. And, uh... We're gonna see what he finds and then we're gonna we're gonna try to uh, add to our information from yesterday and then maybe there's a few things I didn't cover. Um, I mean I don't like to get deep into these rituals like these bomb these government domestic terrorism events, but uh I mean if I see some information there, then I better just cover it real quick, so. This location. Now, I just picked this up this morning, thinking this would probably be a good show to, to uh, look at. But look at all the numbers surrounding this building. We have 188 meters tall. So, let me get a mic check real quick. Okay, I think the volume's good. Hey, how's it going, Sonny? Um, thank you for tuning in. So notice he just talked. He just said that the Nashville building is a hundred and eighty-eight meters tall. So that was a number we were all over in yesterday's game. So that's that's a number I covered, and I didn't even look at the building because I cut. I knew about the thirty-three stories tall and the address of three three three, uh, Commercial Boulevard or whatever the street is. The address. So we covered the thirty-three and the one eighty-eight, and then of course the building is a hundred and eighty-eight meters tall. So I'll try to jump around on my video. But here it is right here. So in the and all these men sack one they're just out. So in this video we uncovered, I was telling you guys about the mind control. And I know some people don't believe that that's what's going on. But if I could constantly prove my point over and over. Then clearly, I know what I'm talking about. So if you guys want to believe that oh, I'm, I'm reaching with certain information while... Well, Far from it because not only when I cover a number, then someone else will cover it later. So, and I don't know exactly where I'm trying to put it. I'm trying to put it on where we found it on the shot clock. And uh, I know these streams are extra long, and most people don't watch them, so, or watch at least the whole thing. So I was talking about how at this foul occurred and the clock stopped exactly at 18.8 .8 seconds left in the game clock. 
and I was trying to point out that if you guys are are saying that these are actors and they're 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 acting their whole way through all this, and I said you're crazy because if you want to believe that James Harden stopped or did this whole little theatrical performance and uh is it start at two two one? Is that is there another two two one? Okay, I was gonna say. So uh I mean it's just proof to that they're under the mind control. They're under the magnetism, they're under the advanced technology to control their mind. So let's see what we let's see what I said right here and then I'll get to the other guy's video. These and look at what is the State Farm symbol? It's the three. So we have these three guys in this trinity, the banking trinity, the insurance policy. We're seeing a major insurance. This is an insurance policy play to make sure the lines are covered. This is a point shaving play right here. That's why they do this funky little contact. James Harden gets injured. And then what does he do? He calls a timeout or what? So if back to my point, if if he's acting, then he he has to be the best actor in the world because he has to make sure not only does he do that funky act so if your theory is that he's acting, then he has to fake like he sprains his ankle and do a hell of a job selling it. Cause that that if that was acting that was that was the best acting I've ever seen because he really sold that foot injury. So not only did he have to sell the foot injury, then he had to get the ball, then he had to take the double coverage. But now he has to make sure at eighteen point eight, not not a tenth of a second later or not a tenth of a second sooner, he has to make sure he stops the clock at the perfect time. Not a chance, people. Not a, it's not acting, it's mind control, targeted individual, advanced technology from Washington, D.C. and beyond. The, the fucking banking trinity cartel, this is their insurance policy. The mind control. So that other dude, if they're acting, the dude who slapped the ball had to say, Make sure he slapped the ball at a perfect time. So they're all acting right now. This is acting. Wow. Okay, so he knows it's 18.8, so he calls the timeout at the perfect time. They're all acting. That was acting. That's So, again, there's our 18.8, but then in the, in the score of the game, we had a... Uh... Well, he, the 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 original basket manipulation play. Happened when uh the score was 110 and then James Harden made that deep 3 with the um the magnetism and the ball bringing it 110 to 111. So there's our other Bavarian Illuminati number 221. It's 2000, 2021, but then it, obviously they remove the zero and they do all kinds of funky stuff, reflect numbers and all that. So one, 188 and 221, they're both Bavarian Illuminati numbers and we'll get a little calculator. We'll get a little calculator going as well. So then, and if you watch my previous videos, I talked about how, how the number 33 and the 33 stories and all that. Oh my gosh, I hate this when it does this. So I said the, uh, the fraternal order of the police had their... The police had their uh, tagging all over it. Not only did the Jesuits and the Bavarian Illuminati, but then the police had their tagging all over, as in saying they they were um they were involved with the ritual. And other people have said this content, but then I just I 
I put some stuff that other people said together and it always checks out. It always checks out. Everyone's research always checks out together. So then we had a, a person, Jason, in the chat talk about not, uh, 119 is the reflection of 911. And we've seen all these 911 as in um, predictive programming, twin towers, hu ritual human sacrifices equals 911, all these crazy 911. So then notice the rockets have a 221 reflecting final score as in 2021 and 122 is a. Uh, equals satanism or nba equals 122 satanism or satanic 122 and uh probably some other stuff that i can't remember but 119 uh 119 equals uh Fraternal order of police. So there's the police tagging again in this ritual Because this game connects so well to the t Tennessee bombing because of multiple things not just the little bit of information I gave you so let's get a list going So what do we what do we what do we already know? We already know the thirty three is involved. I said the two two one and the one eighty eight is involved, and then I talked about other numbers. But we'll watch the video. So Bavarian Illuminati is one eighty eight. Greatest of all. All time is 188, and then Michael Jeffrey Jordan was 188, and then I said above Shaq in the movie Blue Chips, they had the number 188 above his head on a scene, and it was that scene was a whole predictive programming for the 9/11, and uh, it tied into Bible verse John 3:16 as well, and then the Knights Templar and the uh, Bavarian Illuminati and the Skull and Bones. Mainly the Skull and Bones and the Knights Templar, they had their coding all over that uh, predictive programming for the Twin Towers that were that were soon to come in six years. Because uh, Blue Chips was released in 1994. So, that I mean, this is how... It was crazy what they say in these movies. So the Bavarian Illuminati is 221. The greatest of all time, as in the GOAT, right? Is 221. And then Holy Roman Emperor is 221. But I was saying about... Well, I'll get back to that blue chips and but I was talking so 221 and 188 have a strong connection because if you just add the in front of these words it equals the same values and they love this 188 and 221 with the Bavarian Illuminati and the goat as in the greatest of all time but I was talking about how the goat is the sacrifice reference the owl as in the Bavarian Illuminati owl symbolism it, the O W L, the owl is a sacrifice reference. The Holy Roman Emperor is a sacrifice reference, like the King referencing or the Jesus Black Sun referencing. Although I was talking about how they have all these demented, uh, satanic, or uh, all these references to sacrifice. Like they have all, like I go, no matter what you do, they put the sacrifice label on everybody. But. So then with this, again, so Fraternal Order of Police is 119, and we already seen that they made a strong connection. Because when they did the bombing, it was the Hooters owl in the fo photo, the owl, the Bavarian Illuminati. But Hooters equals 33, Police 33, Orange 33, Gay 33. We talked about all this gay symbolism that was passed off in the Packers versus the Titans and then we seen the Jesuit Jesuits highly coding themselves in the uh in the Packers versus uh
in the Packers versus the uh, Titans, that game on Sunday night, the night I think after the, the bombing, the, hold on. The Jesuit order was like all over taking everything. So there's that 124. Okay, so we see in this video, I think he talks about 124. But Fraternal Order Police, 119. And then the Sacramento Kings, the sacri Sacrificial King. The Sacrifice referencing again, but here's our Fraternal Order of Police. And then I think this guy talks about 124 in the beginning of his video. So I'm reading these comments and if the comments get like crazy like sometimes they do I'll have to wait until a break so I don't take forever cuz I always end up like adding an hour onto my work that I don't or a few hours well But yeah uh, if there's a few comments I'll answer them Yeah Sunny um yeah, I think, I mean, it depends. What I said is that, so I said in my other video that, well, I'm not, what I said in my other video is that specific athletes, like in, in the decode yesterday, I showed how the James Harden, um, John Wall and that House Junior guy, they all had tagging to Freemasonry. So I said, well, it's probably saying that they're Freemasons. So from in my last video, I said from a very young age, these Prince Hall Freemasons, they join the sports leagues and they play sports under Freemasonry. So yeah, there's there's no doubt that that a lot of them they they probably know certain things, and we've heard athletes say specific things. But um, in their contract, they're probably aware of like they probably don't know the actual wording of of stuff, but they definitely are aware of certain certain aspects of the of the rigging and the scripted sports. But and I said eventually when when you got players who like are making these crazy shots like James Harden, LeBron James, Steph Curry, like, and then especially with field goal kickers in the NFL, like those guys eventually would have to realize that there's some sort of advanced technology going on because if you're a field goal kicker, you've kicked the ball so many times. And if you're a shooter, an offensive shooter in the NBA, you eventually, you, you would know if I went, if I was, I don't even shoot the basketball that much. But if I went into the a game and was shooting the ball, I, I would see, I would know. I would eventually know. So I just look at it from my own perspective, from what I've seen. And I know that these black athletes from a very early age joined the Prince Hall. We played the Prince Hall teams in, in, in football. My son played the Prince Hall teams in football. So I know... I know that they're out there playing playing youth sports sports at age you know eight and nine. But um, what they know, I don't know. I don't think they now are they could they be point shaving like definitely they could they could they deliberately miss shots and stuff. But they don't need them to deliberately miss shots. They could just throw it off with the the magnetism. Um, they don't need field goal kickers to miss kicks. They they miss them for them. They probably just have in the contracts, and we seen what was it, Benny Benny Cunningham in the um, NFL say that they have to sign contracts to keep quiet. So they they definitely I don't I wouldn't know how many of them know, but some of them they know something. Some of them know something. It's it's from our research we tie it together. So, but what I'm saying is people try to say that they're like full on into the whole. I said it's not reasonable to have, you know, 200 guys in the NBA that you got to watch for. You got to you got to worry every morning or is someone going to is someone going to cave in today and tell it all? So they they're going to try to tell these players as little as possible um only on a need to know basis as far as like if they could, could if they could mind control them, they don't need to tell them anything. Like they don't have to tell them 
you know, they're under the mind control. We showed multiple plays. We showed we showed three plays in this game, and they all involve mind control. And uh, I don't think like James Harden doesn't know. He he doesn't know. They when they when they have me under mind control, they didn't ask my permission. So uh, they do the mind control on me every day. They just illegally hack your mind. So why would these guys be any different and get, oh, well, could we could we hack your mind? It's like, I'm just a regular dude, and they're doing it to me. So so here he is. He talks about the 188. He talks about the 33. And we already covered that heavily in, in our other decodes, and other people have covered that. But I think he talks about 124, so let's, let's listen in. We have 33. stories tall these are not accidents you have the building existing on a an address okay so the building now i remember the building was topped out october 24th and that's 10 24 but again i said they removed the zero so there's our 124 there's our there's our fraternal other order of police in the in the uh topping out of the building whatever that means wasn't completed but it look at of course it's completed in september 1994 and they don't give you a date right it probably literally probably was completed september 11th that's why they don't that's why they they adjust it because i said i'm starting to realize they're removing dates from stuff because they're trying to it's too obvious if this was september 11th we would all know right away like right away we wouldn't even need to be doing heavy ass research but so of course it was completed and they, they give a topping out date but they don't give a completed or an opening date so so there's our 124 though it's 333 you can't make this up this is definitely something that they want us to see now, when was October 24th? This is when this thing topped out. I haven't looked into that yet. Let's look that date up. See what day of the year it falls on. 297th with 68 remaining. But look at this. In the leap year, it forms a mirror. So, you know, that's interesting because there's our 68. And we covered 68 in my video. So there's our 68 days remaining when it was completed. So there's our terror number. And um, I can't even remember what the other 68s were. But there's our domestic terrorism. There's our terror number. So terror sixty eight and there's AT and T is forty one. So there's our and that's probably what I was saying. And then I said with AT and T it's five in numerology in the twenty twenty one in numerology equals two plus zero plus one or plus two plus one equals five. So the year 2021 has a numerology of 5, 18, and T5. So, of course, they're kicking off the year with another ritual. So the end of the year, the beginning of the year. So, again, if you say I use too many ciphers, well, these are all on the base 4 ciphers. But the reason why I use other ciphers is because there's so much other information packed in the other ciphers. Um, you need to use the other ciphers. It's not that. Should you use the other ciphers? You need to use the other ciphers. But this is, if these are going in on the base four, I'll leave it here for now because it's easier to see. But uh, these four primary ciphers minus the base five, the pinion cipher. <laughs> 9868. That is the same number flipped in reverse. So this tells me that this was probably intentional to some degree. So, and that's what kind of sucks about what he says. He's probably intentional. Like, come on, dude. Like, you should know that you shouldn't... This guy does enough work. Like, he should definitely know that this is intentional and that this guy has enough insight that he should definitely know that this is an orchestrated domestic terrorism by the government. Now, let's go back in here. This building almost aligns to 288 degrees. So if you're taking any kind of notes right now and you're writing all these numbers down, 
you're beginning to realize that there's much more to this than meets the eye. Let's let's just zoom around this building so we can get a snap. So what I thought was interesting, and I never looked at the city, but of course the Titan Stadium is so close to this to this building. So there's our again, and I said the Tennessee Titans um, and the Green Bay Packers. They played. And then they had that gay symbolism of the brown eye. Uh, the brown eye equals 137, the 33rd prime number. The gay, uh, the Vesca, not only is the Packer symbol the Vesca Pisces, but it represents the brown eye, the booty hole. Uh, and then the pa the game was in Green Bay, Wisconsin, and that's in Brown County. So what is your green eye, the brown eye? I mean... <laughs> The brown eye in Brown County. So it was a perfect matchup. And that's why they played the Packers. And then what also we've seen is there was a 26 point difference. And that 26 was huge in all this. And I'll have to go to my video to pull up my 26s. Because my... Um, I believe my computer was hacked yesterday. Because my computer doesn't crash like that. So of course it crashes during a live stream. And acted really... The last time it crashed like that. It was like the same, it was like, not the same situation, but it crashed just like that. And I, that was, I feel like that was the last time I could, my computer's been hacked three times that I know of. And two of the times it did the same thing, it was hacked. I don't think that was my computer messing up. I think that was my computer being hacked. What's going on here? If you look from the top, you will see three and three separate I guess you call these outcroppings. Again, this is the Batman building, the tallest building in all Tennessee, where the event took place on. But what I also said it's the Moloch building, or the building is the owl. So that's that's. I heard a, I seen on Twitter someone called it the Moloch building, so I'm not gonna take credit for that. And I was like, oh yeah, it is the Moloch, but also it's the owl, and I'll take credit for the owl referencing because no one else said that as far as I know. So. I called it the Owl Building. Everyone knows it as the Batman Building. And then a lady on Twitter called it the Moloch Building. So then with Moloch, it was 26, and that fit so perfect into our um, our little, all our rituals. The 26 was perfect in that. And then I found the 66 was so prevalent, the number 66. So I know we're getting into a lot of numbers now. But then right now he mentions the number 66. And I only watched the first four minutes of this. So this is all I watched too. So I don't really, I kind of miss what he said about 66. But I said, let me watch a little. And then if it's good enough, I'll do the video. So once I heard the 66, I said, okay, I'm going to go live. Because that was a number I was all over. Christmas Eve. This could be all about Apollo. Of course, Apollo's birthday is on Christmas Eve. And you've got these outcroppings, three and three, or six on each side. That would be your 66. So I kind of don't know what he means by outcroppings. Does he? I think he means the little chunks of land around the, uh, around the building. So there's our 66, I guess. I guess it's... I thought maybe it was a little more prevalent, so I won't do the 66 la list unless it comes up again. I mean, I'll probably eventually do it, but... With the syringes atop the Batman building. So what this is, is it's some kind of spiritual sorcery. As far as I can tell at this point, drawing attention to this. So, very interesting stuff. Let's go back over to. Oh, does he mean? I think he means outcrops. I means on. I think he means on the building. I think he means on the building. There's like a. I I think I know what he means. There's these little sections. On the building of like. One two three. One two three. So there is the 66 on the building. So it is. Okay, he's talking about the building. So you see the one, two, three, one, two, three little uh little side outcrop towers or whatever. So there is a one, two, three, four, five, six, 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 six. 
or uh, six, uh, 66. Because 3, 6, 9, 12. 12. So, like, police. What do they call police? The, tw- the 12, right? What do they say? Fuck 12. 12 is... And that's one thing you got to realize is that when they give us these 5 and 12 referencing... Like, it's all, like, given to us through the media, but they, like, they want us to call the police the 12, you know what I mean? And the only thing I've seen with that, and it's like, if you throw up an Al for Lucifer, Al is the 12th letter, so right, and then look at, of course, it has the numerology of 3 and 6. So Al, as in Lucifer, or Moloch, or the Al. Al, O-W-L, right? Al. So there it is again. There's the owl. Owl. Owl equals owl. So there it is. There's there the building is the O W L, the owl. Because of the letter L is twelve. Police twelve. Owl twelve. Owl, the letter owl as in the word owl. O W L, the bird. So there it is. There's the there's the connection right there. So there's the police connection, and then there's the Bavarian Illuminati. So... See, you can't see it here, but Moloch is 66 and 26. Corona is 66 and 26 and 33. Phallus, 26. You know, I'm going to have to go to my video right now. And find our 26s. So Uranus is 26. Oh, so yeah, Houston Rockets was 66, Basket Manipulation was 66, Aurora Borealis 66. So Uranus is 26. Let me go, I'm going to have to go up this. I, there was a point where I put these 26, six lists together, but... I'm not going to try to hold the video up that long. Later, I probably, because I think there was like 426 words. Or like 526 words. So, Corona, Moloch. And if this is small, then I know that if you're on a phone... Well, let me just enter those for now. So again, it's like Corona, Moloch, Uranus. Again, so you can't see the 26. So that's why I said eventually you got to turn on some of those other ciphers because you really need to see those. So Mola, Corona, Phallus, Uranus. And I think there was one more, 26. Oh, God, right? God as in government, ordinance, department, but God, Satan, and all that Moloch shit. Because, like, what is it for the... For the 
for the greater glory of God, for the greater glory of God. And it's the 300 in reverse ordinal and that, that neon green cipher. It's um, 351. 351 is the 26 prime number. So there's, of course, there's our Jesuit thing with the 26 tagging. But we already seen Jesuit tagging. Well, with Russell Wilson, I did a video on him, but there's a photo of him and Aaron Aaron Rodgers shaking hands and doing a free Masonic handshake. So they're definitely Masons for sure, but they don't let people get to the top who aren't Masons. So it doesn't it's not surprising. So, but what they know, I don't know what they know. I know they probably don't tell every single lodge about Gamatria. But, yeah, I mean, if you're in the higher level, like, sporting events and all that, like, you probably know a little more, obviously. But do they know the number scripting? I don't know. Do they know the whole game and all everything scripted throughout? I don't, I don't know. I do know Russell Wilson threw that sorry pass on the Super Bowl, so... Connection to all this. Look at this. Trump derailed some of the biggest tech deals. Well, he talks about... I'm going to try to go through this because he talks about Trump and Batman or something. And they show the Scrooge. Oh, actually, let me go back because uh, he already said that. This here. Now, there is a Trump connection to all this. Look at this. Trump derailed some of the biggest tech deals of the last four years. The industry could look very different. And look what they show here. It was almost like they knew this was going to happen. This story published on December 20th, just a few days before this happened, and they show this. So, so, does, <laughs> so what is December 20th? December 20th, 1220? Well, what does that look like to you? With there's our one, two, two, right? You remove the zero. There's our reflection of 20, 21. But there's our score of 122 in the basketball game. There's our 122 Rockets, 119. Rouge. And a wonderful life. So he says it's almost like they predicted. Well, yeah, they know. They've... I showed in the Blue Chips movie, and I didn't finish saying it, but six years before the 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 9-11 event happened, they were coding it in the movie Blue Chips. But we already know from other people's work that from the moment the Twin Towers were built, they planned on bringing them down. Of course, the most famous Christmas film of all time. In anticipation. And then what is it? What I say? It's the banking cartels, right? What is that? A banker or a Scrooge work for the bankers? I assume. But we also showed that the movie Die Hard with the Vengeance was coded in this. And the Nightmare Before Christmas was coded in this. So now, of course, because it happened on Christmas and then on Halloween in Tennessee, they had the, the, the Halloween haunted house that was called... Um, Knoxville Nightmare was the name of the one of the big haunted houses in Tennessee. I go Knoxville Nightmare. I go look at predictive programming as in the nightmare before Christmas. As this Christmas in Knoxville, there's going to be the nightmare of the bombing. So then we we connect it. Um, the date of the movie. Well, we'll do that again real quick. So we connected the, the, and maybe I'll look again real quick.
So October 13th, 1993. And I'll just do the anniversary of the movie because, well, I guess we could do the whole... So what was that Christmas day? Oh, that's what it was. It was two months and thirteen days. So we seen that mo we seen that yesterday too. But it was two months and thirteen days. So those are mind control victim numbers. We seen this tagged in that basketball game. That's a mind control victim. Rosicrucian order two one three, the Hollywood area code two one three. So here's our Hollywood and our Rosicrucian connection. And then Hollywood is 33. Hollywood 33. Gay 33. Police 33. So what are they doing? They're acting. What do they show in the football? The gay referencing of the brown high and the phallus. The brown eye equals... The, is the 33rd prime number so from the nightmare to uh, before Christmas is the two our 213 because again if you just take out the year well 27 is ritual ritual mind control victim but you could take out the 27 years and it's just 213 And then here's our here's our I was seeing a bunch of three six nine, two. So one thousand four hundred and nineteen weeks. One thousand four hundred and nineteen weeks. Just seeing if that's a. Uh, there's any special numbers with that 70 but I said 74 days that's our Jesus number Gamatria 74 there that's our uh, Jesus Christ 74 and all those other 74s so there's big numbers to owl o w l equals 13 as in the building is an owl Bavarian Illuminati symbolism of the owl ritual 27 again and then I showed that Die Hard with the Vengeance was connected as well. And then what, what do we see? The Tennessee Titans and then Samuel L. Jackson in this movie. His name is Zeus, as in Zeus is a Titan. So that was interesting to see that. So May 19th, 619... Another California area code, May 19th, 1995. So we got all these movies in the, and, I, and it's going to be all movies, but we have Blue Chips, 1994, Nightmare Before Christmas, 1993, and Die Hard, 1995. All these movies are, are coded into to domestic terror attacks by the government. Isn't that just, just ridiculous? This is, again, I was talking about how I don't like to watch movies. Or what do you say? May? Or, oh, that's not 619. That's 519. What is 519? Oh, okay. That's what it was. So it was 221 days. So there's our 221 again. There's our 221 from Die Hard with the Vengeance, so there it is. And then 25 years, ACDC, Antichrist, Death Cult equals 25. Just another Washington connection. And 25 probably means all kinds of other stuff. So ACDC. I'll just put it here for now. 
as in Washington, D.C., right? ACDC, Washington, D.C., Washington, Death Cult. Okay, so there's our 80, there's our 118, there's our there's our 80 and 118. 80, Baphomet, 80, Bavarian Illuminati, 80, the greatest of all time, 80, the Knights Templar, 118, predictive programming, um, 118 is death. So yeah, death is 118 as well. Death is 213 as well. So you see our 213. We just talked about 213. Mind control victim 213, the Rosicrucian order 213, indoctrination 213. Mandatory vaccination 213. What did he show on this? He said these are these the big needles of the towers. Does that maybe that maybe that means there's gonna be two shots coming? Maybe there's gonna be two fucking Well <laughs> So what are they telling us? They tell us there's two strains of the coronavirus now, right? So you're you're so if you're dumb enough to get one shot, it's not gonna protect you from the other. This is ridiculous. They're gonna do probably two shots. Ah, yeah, yeah. This is fucking ridiculous. It's probably what this is saying. They're they're gonna do probably two shots. They're gonna they're gonna hype this second strain. We're gonna be this whole year. This whole year is this. Is, we're gonna stay under this coronavirus shit for a whole. They're gonna just break everyone's will. That's what they're trying to do. They're breaking your will. That way you're just begging for a shot. And I already hear people begging for a shot. One of my clients who's a teacher, is telling them about the numbers. They seem to listen to it. But I didn't want to give him too much information because I'm like, ah, well, I don't know. I don't, I know he's around children or well, high school, high school children. So I don't know if I want to give him all the information. I'll just tell him about it, and then at least I told him. But so then the next time I seen him, about a month later, I went and did some more work for them, and then he was like, oh yeah, man, I just want this shot, man. I just want to get back to normal. And he and it's sad. It's so sad because he has two young children. He has a, he has like a two year old little boy, and then he has like a, uh, like an eight year old little girl. And I'm like, man, these people are just. And of course, I'm work. I'm not gonna fucking argue. I'm doing work for him, so I can't really say anything. But I'm like, man, of course I knew it. These people, are, people are gonna be begging for the shot. So. Imagine another year. Oh, people are just going to be fucking pleading. Please just do give me the shots. I need to go to the bar and drink a beer. I need to go sit in a restaurant and eat a fucking meal. It's like this is the time, and I said this before, this is the time we're supposed to be connecting with our family and rebuilding personal relationships, and no one's doing it. Ain't no one from my family. Hey, man, how you been? You know, I'm under this lockdown. Just thought I'd reach out to some of my family members and get back in contact. Nope, none of that's happening. I'm still just as alone as I was before because everybody else is so fucked up in the head with the with where they're at mentally. Hey, Sonny. I was thinking maybe you're a fake girl because, uh, your photo, <laughs> maybe you're real. I don't know. Um, where is that tab at? How do I accept that? I don't know. I'll have to accept that later. Oh, there it is. Sorry, and so these dudes already explained that these dudes are just trying to get in my panties. Dominic, although, as I follow this guy, because a friend of mine told me to follow him. Jared, I was following him on... I don't want to talk stuff, but I was following him on Twitter, then I unfollowed him because uh, I realized he was just trying to fucking hook up with chicks on Twitter. And Twitter is like, 
if you're like a truther on Twitter, like, okay, if you meet another truther, that's great. That's like ideal to meet someone that you could talk to that is into the same stuff that you're into. But if you're on there just trying to flirt with like fake profiles the whole time, like I'm going to unfollow your ass. I had to unfollow a few people on Twitter because of, uh, they're over here, got these fake profiles and they're trying to fucking get at them and shit. It's like, are you a truther? Like create two profiles, dude. Create your, your flirt profile and create your fucking truther profile. I want to see you do truther and then the next, see all you trying to flirt with all these, uh, fake women profiles it's like you should know that the profiles are fake so let's get so the reason why i did all that is because he's talking about a christmas carol so i just wanted to show you that the movies are coded with this stuff and then i try to connect with i try to connect with uh other people on free to find truth i'm like oh i'm tired of this i want to connect with people some people sent me a message and then they just started fucking stop talking to me right away i'm like come on man like, well, let's get this shit together. Like, we all we all ain't got to do all kinds of big, big moves and shit. But, like, let's fucking at least fucking... Let's at least, like, do spread a little content together. You know what I mean? Oh, hey, what's up, Jared? And I'm being... <laughs> He's right here. That's hilarious. Well, good. I'm glad Jared heard that because I was following him. And then, dude, like... Those are fake profiles. I'm sorry, but that's why I unfollowed. <laughs> He's right here. That's hilarious. Okay, anyways, Jared, I don't mean to get on you, buddy, but if you want to fucking share some content together, actually, I'll accept your request now. Maybe you knew it was me, but at the time, I didn't feel like you knew it was me. And I know I was following you on fucking Twitter and shit. But, uh, don't get fooled by fake profiles of women on fucking Twitter. And I'm, the reason why I got on you, if you're still in here, is that because all these dudes fucking sent me a friend request as soon as I fucking put a picture of a woman, like I knew they would. And I'm like, come on, really? Like, it's like, I, I share all this good content and no one wants to fucking, uh, communicate with me. Okay, anyway, so today is the ninth. Is nine months and eleven days after three. It's your birthday today. Well, happy birthday. Today is nine eleven days after three twenty two. Yeah, interesting. To I looked at my birthday date duration, but uh, I probably see a lot more now. But yeah, my name my name has all kinds of crazy ass numbers on the coding of my name. Oh, no, that's me on Free to Find Truth. But I just said that. And the reason... I took this photo... Because I, I, I told a thing to my friend. I told her, I said, no one's communicating with me on fucking Free to Find Truth. And I'm sharing all my videos. I go, I'm going to put a photo of a woman on Free to Find Truth. So I went to this person does not exist because I wanted to show... To mess around with people... And then she's like, I don't agree with you doing that. I go, whatever. I I go, I'm put as soon as I put this photo, everybody's like trying to fucking communicate with me. But then I had all these fucking dudes trying to hit me up in my fucking chat. And uh And then even Zach sent me a message and was trying to talk to me. I go, Oh, now Zach's now Zach, he sent me a message and was talking like I didn't even respond. He commented on my post. But I told my friend, I go, I see what I told you. I go, I go, a lot of these people, they ain't even about the truth. They're just trying to fucking, it's now again, if you want to, I would love to find someone on free to find truth. But if most people are on there just trying to flirt with every single girl they run into, like that's counterproductive. So that's me who shared that. They were trying to get in my panties. <laughs> Zach actually knows me and that I am real. He has mailed books to my home here in Vancouver. I work in real estate and I'm fascinated by this stuff. Well, I work in real estate too. I'm a I'm a carpenter. I'm a handyman. I remodel houses. I fix and flip houses. 
but the economy is all messed up, so now I can't fix and flip houses right now. And if you if you look for me on Twitter, I'm pin I'm Gamatra Script, and I know who Jared is because I was following his work on there. But I'm not anymore because there's a big group of guys that are trying to fucking just flirt with people now. I ain't saying you're trying to flirt all hard with people, but I'm just telling it like it is. There's a big group of guys on here that aren't doing what they should be doing. But here's my Twitter. If you guys want to follow, maybe Jared's already following me. But uh, here it is. Pinnacle of Truth. The same. This is all. This, this is all me. This is me here. It's just that that person does not exist. Okay, let me get back into the decode. So let's he's talking about movies. Let's remember where he is. He's I don't know why he's comparing he's he's adding Trump into this. He uh this Enter the Stars, he 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 does a lot of great work, but I'll criticize him when I have to. Of this now. What was Trump's involvement in this? Well, the DOJ blocked AT&T's attempt to buy Time Warner. Time Warner then appealed. They won. Then the government came back and appealed that. And I think they lost the appeal according to this. But it all kind of, well, it actually didn't go well for AT&T because they were basically, had missed the mark on this new wave of TV bundling that was going on. Or uh, the, the Netflix, Amazon Prime, that had basically started to infringe on the cable market. They missed the boat on that because they were blocked several times. Several other players came in and filled the void. Disney Plus, Netflix, Amazon Prime, and Hulu. And so, uh, it looks like AT&T missed the boat. So, Trump blocked that merger. Uh, now, I believe he said, let's see, let's see what the article says here. The reason why he blocked this tech merger. Uh, let's see here. Some people say it's because he didn't like CNN, but I don't buy that. It's more life, uh, right, left paradigm garbage. But uh, they said the DOJ attempted to craft a vertical integration argument claiming the deal would mean higher monthly TV bills and fewer of the new emerging innovative option that consumers are beginning to enjoy. You always got to read between the lines with this stuff. I mean, that's the reason that they give, though. They were trying to allow us to have more streaming services. Vertical integration. So, this is the connection to Trump other than the other esoteric and spiritual connections that we just made. And what else do we have here? Let's read through some of this. So here you see they call it the Batman building. AT&T. Previous. So he said up here I'm reading it. Uh, so there's this number 12 again. It says named iconic Batman building or as the name is La Bat Tower. One of the 12 most original office buildings in the world. So there's our 12, right? What did I say? Al as in Al, the uh, Al, the letter of the alphabet Al. Al as in Lucy. Al is the 12th letter. What do they call the police? 12. And then, uh, but I said the building is the owl building, the, the bird owl, O-W-L. Al, like the alphabet letter, is also sounds like the word the bird owl O W L owl owl. So there's not only is that the building the Moloch building as the Lucifer, um, as the Moloch, but it's the owl O W L and it's the Batman building. So it's the Hollywood connection Hollywood thirty three with Batman, the owl O W L as in the bird the owl, the connection to the Bavarian Illuminati and it's. The building is 33 stories. The Hollywood connection. Hollywood equals 33. It's the Batman building. It's 188 millimeter, uh, meters tall. That's the connection to the Bavarian Illuminati. Not only the owl, O-W-L, as in the bird, Bavarian Illuminati symbolism. And then we've seen the Hooters in the bombing. They put the Hooters 
photo up with the explosion and then you see the Hooters bar uh, Hooters bar and grill or whatever it is Hooters is 33 in a cipher but then the owl is a the Bavarian Illuminati 188 the greatest of all time 188 the building is 188 meters tall so when they build these build when they when they construct these buildings like it's all fucking fully coded obviously so like they coded the Bavarian Illuminati and the 33 all in that building and then the 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 police numbers fit so well with it so like it's almost like from the moment they construct they construct them like I wouldn't be surprised at the moment they built this built they can they constructed this Batman building they they had this bombing all along they were like they just they probably planned the bombing. Maybe they didn't know what they're. They probably knew it. Like that's the crazy thing with this coronavirus. This is probably well in advance. You know what I mean? All these things are planned way ahead of times. They're they're already working on. They're already working on twenty the year twenty fifty rituals. You know what I mean? Bell South, and before that, South Central Bell had operated its Tennessee headquarters out of the building since it opened in ninety four. That was uh, 26 years ago. So there's a little bit of the story behind the building. So that's about all I could pull out of this building. And the esoteric ramifications. This definitely is something to reinforce this VC. I don't know why. I think he means vaccination when he calls it VC. I don't know what he means by VC. I know he doesn't mean Viet Cong. So let's get back in here into the chat, see what's going on with you guys. Been in no, I'm just trying to go forward through this because I haven't watched this yet. God damn, how much time does he spend in the chat? YouTube friendly. All right. I, I just seen a word go by in that chat that I need to remember. Because this is a Kobe Bryant, and I always forget it. The uh, Pied Piper. Is it the Pied Piper or Pied Piper? It must be another site. Well, there's our 131. That was in our show yesterday, and that that connected to James Harden ritual. Well, like, what is James Harden? They're Pied Pipers. I said they're the Blue Devils, Satan's Little Helpers. And there's another Satan Little Helper, the Pied Piper misleading the masses, right, by playing basketball. And, um... By playing the fake scripted basketball and misleading the masses. I I swear this this the Pied Piper fit in so well with the Kobe Bryant. And maybe I spelled it different. Oh, okay, there it is right there. So the Pied Piper is 126, and that's the huge death date of Kobe Bryant. Gianna Bryant equals 126. Dionysus, the god, the Greek god Dionysus equals 126. Oops. So Dionysus is a... Uh, this dude, this, this video by this... This Enter the Stars, he's the one. He did a video on the Greek god Dionysus. It's a show called Dion. Raising Dion.
So the, he this this show is that like this is a whole he's the Dion the boy is the Greek god Dionysus, and then his mother plays his nymph. But with the Dionysus equals one twenty six, the creepy thing about that. Well, I actually think I have the screenshot still. And it's a whole it's a whole freaking Kobe Bryant ritual, but it's it's creepy because it gets into the whole. Uh, Yeah, I do have a cool. So he highlighted this, and I already talked about Kobe Bryant and the Mojo Smoothie and the Adrenochrome connection. Because I had a friend, and she's telling me that, oh, I, I think these people are faking their death. I'm like, well, where are they going? To like an underground city? Like, are they on an island somewhere? And she's like, yeah, possibly. Possibly, because I'm like, there's no way Kobe Bryant is faking his death and then just walking among the public he's too big of a person and as far as height wise and he's too big of a celebrity to be out in public so i said it doesn't make sense for you to fake your death because then that's if you want to fake your death and gianna bryant's death you put yourself in a lot of danger because now now the secret societies and the people who are practicing this sort of witchcraft and um form of dark science the people who are doing this like now they now they can go adrenochrome kill you and all that stuff and my and i know people don't believe in adrenochrome but hey they put it in the movies it's coded in movies like crazy so if you do your research um it was that movie with tom hanks the about um i don't know he's a police officer and they go they're talking about harvesting organs this dude entered the stars. Um, here and again, this is his video raising Dionysus. This is a this is a crazy video, but he made this video and then he I I use a lot of his research in my decodes. Well, I just use what's important and what sta- and what tells me something. Like I watch a lot of different YouTubers, but this this guy had does a lot of content that I, I I use because he'll give me a lot of information that will lead me to an answer. So he did a video with Tom Hanks and he and that video it's about I can't remember what that movie's called. It's in it's in other decodes, but I tagged that video in my chat in my Tom Hanks decode video and then I went back and they they blocked that video off off the channel. I'm like, "Well, they won't block something unless there's important information on it." And it was all to organ harvesting and adrenochroming. So when he did this video, he didn't talk about that, but it let in my Kobe Bryant research um uh, Dionysiac only needs to be understood as the frenzied dances of the god which are direct manifestations of euphoric possession and that these worshippers, so the worshippers of Dion, sometimes they eat the, uh, sometimes by eating the flesh of a man or animal who temporarily incarnated the god, come to, they, so there, it's cannibalism, it's these um, occultic rituals of cannibalism. And then I go, what are the odds that Kobe Bryant died 126, Dionysus equals 126. He's a basketball god. He's a temporary incarnation of a god as a basketball god. And then I connected all these adrenochrome referen- references to Kobe Bryant's death. I go, what are the odds of all that? And then under the Dionysus, it talks about cannibalism. And partaking in the divinity, and this is the adrenochrome. In the blue is the whole. In the blue is the adrenochrome referencing. So I said, what are the odds that uh, Gianna Bryan equals one twenty six in Gematria, Dionysus equals one twenty six in Gematria, Kobe Bryant and Gianna Bryan allegedly died on one twenty six. So again, it's just a, it's just like weird shit. Like that's why I watch this page because. I'm always getting crazy answers and I did all kinds of Kobe Bryant work, wrote blogs. Like and I'll just show this real quick. Just for you to if you're new on here just I think it's in my video it's 
it's not it's just a photo of Gianna Bryant but I showed how they tagged this fucking scene of this uh Captain Hook and the Gianna Bryant speech notice that they have the black hair and they have the one eye covering and the crocodile tears now she's not faking but the crocodile tears has multiple meanings but this movie is coded and a bunch of other movies with alligators and crocodiles you would have to watch my video uh it's called morning rush hour or my video is called but then on the photo it's gianna bryan and the pilgrim people it's a photo of gianna bryan and her basketball friends that's this video a lot of it's a dope video But this is that this is that Dion right here. This is this is it's just, again like what are we showing? We're showing a bunch of uh, Hollywood movies that are coded with a bunch of other dark meanings, and this is why I turned. I don't I don't watch television. I don't watch the sporting events. I don't partake in this shit because I see too much of what's going on. And I try to tell people that like you know maybe someone will come over and I'm like hey man like all that shit's like fucked up and then they like they don't want to hear it. People people don't want to hear it. I was telling someone about Disney and the 666 connection and like they got all pissed off at me and shit. It's like, what are you mad at me for? I didn't make this shit up. Well, again, if they, if they, if they move and are in, well, they would be like in mountains or underground caves. Watch, watch my, some of my other, my work. Again, I just told you, watch that, watch that video on Gianna Bryant. Watch that Gianna Bryant. It's morning rush hour is the title of the, of the video. And it's a photo of Gianna Bryant. And on the photo, it says Gianna Bryant and the pilgrim people. I'll give you, I give you other ideas than, because typically on my show, I cover things that people don't cover. People have already covered this topic of them living in protection and K or in mountains and in islands and high security areas and underground cities. I think there's some, I think it's worse than that, unfortunately, because Gianna Bryant does have a connection to underground cities, but it's all about, uh, sex trafficking and it's not nice stuff so it's not as fairy tale as we want to believe it is that's what i'm getting out of it and that's why most people go to like oh it's just like it's not as bad as you think they're still alive and it's like yeah, I'm already, I take that into consideration. I've heard that, but I'm trying to give an, an a, a, you know, a third or fourth or fifth perspective. Because the reason why I created this page is because people weren't giving the perspective that I have. So I said, okay, I, got, I need to go make my page because I need to give my perspective because there's two or three ideas of what happened to Kobe Bryant. And then I'll give you the fourth or fifth idea. And I know other a lot of other people feel the same way that I feel. So I'm not the only one talking about If you if you're interested in two videos, watch the Gianna Bryant, watch my NBA draft. I you're probably not into sports, but watch the NBA draft decode. And I talk all about Mojo Smoothie and not only that, but in that in that NBA draft video Where is it? I'll just pull it up to show it real quick. So in this NBA draft video, 
the NBA draft live decode. I'm playing a live broadcast, a television broadcast. So there's commercials. And as I'm talking about Mojo Smoothies and the Golden Man referencing, and I'm talking about Leonard, uh, um, what's his name? Messi? I, I can't even remember his first name. The soccer player Messi? Lionel Messi or whatever his name is? They show him as the golden man in the commercial. So everything I'm talking about, all these adrenochrome referencing, and then the commercial comes on of exactly what I told you. I didn't know they were going to play that commercial. So if you want to know more, and I don't know where that's buried in this video, but there's adrenochrome explanation in this NBA video, and it's not the best. that This... If you want to see other adrenochrome idealism in this Tom Hanks video, this Tom Hanks Hollywood coding and the curious case of Joe Rogan's Instagram, in this video of mine, the Enter the Stars video, the... See, and I'm talking about Enter the Stars. But again, this I, I use this video like on three or four. But in the link, in the page I posted these links, watch this top video, or uh, See, I didn't even, I don't even think I take, there's a Monster Inc. video where it has all, in the movie Monster Inc., it's a whole movie about adrenochrome referencing. But here's that, that video they removed about that Tom Hanks movie. And Tom Hanks has all. The stars video, the, the connection between Tom Hanks. I don't even think I entered it in here. I'm surprised I didn't. Yeah, there's a Monster Inc. video by Enter the Stars. He has two pages, Enter the Stars and Enter the Stars Reloaded. He has a video on Monster Inc. Adrenochrome. And that was where I, that one is super telling about Adrenochrome. And then not only that, Johnny Depp in the Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas movie, he references Adrenochrome directly. He says the word Adrenochrome. Then Hunter S. Thompson was killed like a year after making that movie. The mat, the director of the, uh, the director or writer of that movie. So there's a lot to that adrenochrome, but here's that Gianna Bryant. The fuck just happened? See, my laptop never does shit like that. But here's the Gianna Bryant move uh, decode I did. Watch this one. This hasn't definitely got enough views. This one's a really good video. <laughs> yeah you know what i'm talking about well and that's the thing some people like i tell people to look into that because i found all that stuff before i found the numbers so it seems like you have the same route to all this with me you're looking and looking at all kinds of shit so i tell people about that and then like some people they don't want to go look at it it's like they're scared it's like well you have to look at it because you can't be into the numbers you got to know as much as you got to know as much yeah, I've told other people and they don't want to look into it. And I'm like, so kind of disappointed in some people for being, a lot of people are afraid to get into this. And it's like, and I'll save explaining, well, I'll just leave it at that for now.
Come on, is he gonna say anything else? Well, I guess is he just sitting in the chat this whole time? I thought he had something else to say. Attribution and judgment on all of those who punished God's people. That's all he had to show us? Trump by taking the VC and, you know, then I might be afraid right now. But if you stood your ground, then there is no need for fear because you made choices to go along with what Christ wants you to do. Okay, and that is to step outside of worshiping men and thinking men can solve our problems because they can't. Okay, I can't even solve your problems. I'm just a man. And I give all the glory to the Most High when it comes to things that we discover on this channel and how he's directing this channel. So, I just uh, I just hope that we can start to make right choices this year. It's going to be easy for a lot of you because a lot of you are more right-leaning like myself. So, you know, but it just makes me sad that when another president does the same exact things that, are, that a left-leaning president would do, all of a sudden you support that president because he's on the right. You got to step outside of that, you guys. You got to step outside of it. Okay. Love you guys. And uh, I'm going to keep this short because it's New Year's Day. Some of you are probably hung over. Hopefully you didn't overindulge last night. But uh, have a cup of coffee. Have... Just kind of, if you can't see the chat, sorry, but I didn't know he was going to do a big chat fucking talk. I thought he I thought he was going to give us some more content, but in this chat, this guy says, The Batman building is downtown Nashville. R2-D2 is close to the Batman building. That does not mean nothing, but it's something to keep. Fear. Uh, enjoy your day. Don't be. <laughs> this person says in the chat, the 700 Club is telling people to take the shot. <laughs> Isn't that fucking ridiculous? So that's why you turn the TV off. They're telling everybody everywhere you turn. I turn on the damn news and it sounds like the world's going to end. And it's like, I went to my mom's house today. My mom and dad's and turned, they had the TV on. I had to go over there and turn it. I'm like, why the fuck do you guys watch this shit? Like, this is ridiculous. So the fucking news, as soon as it comes on, it's just like, this person died, this person died, this person was shot. And it's like, Tch. and then they're like, the vaccine's going to take the vaccine. And it's like, Jesus Christ, this fucking news is just a fucking nightmare. Of what the new year is going to hold. Uh, don't expect that, I mean, things are going to get worse. Sorry, I got to make this a little... I made it too big, and now I can't see what they're saying. I'll just see if I could uh, pick up on some in this chat to finish this his work off, and then... Usually, I keep shit going because I get bored, so... But don't think... Don't have all this unnecessary fear just because a Democrat's going to be in the White House, okay? You don't have to because they're all working together. It's going to be the same old, same old. Continued erosion of our rights. That's the first thing that's going to continue to happen. They're going to continue the technocratic fence, the infrastructure, 5G ways. You're going to. This is what Biden's going to be up to next. Uh, they're going to keep running cover for Monsanto. And one, everything I'm talking about here are bipartisan efforts flying under the radar that you haven't been really focused on because we keep believing in the right-left paradigm. These are bipartisan efforts. So this is what both sides are working to enact onto you. We also have the nanny state. So I'm reading articles now where they're segueing, you know, some of these benefits that, that a lot of people got during this pandemic. They're wanting to continue some of this in the forms of, um, what was it, uh, time off of work and things. Now, that's never a bad thing, but he... Okay, well, I got some other content to cover that I didn't cover in the other video, so I'm just going to do that. So, what I was showing was about in the movie Blue Chips. So, in the movie Blue Chips... 
we have this, what I seen was this 9-11 predictive programming. And I didn't get to that yesterday, so I'll do that now. Because, I mean, there's things, K, uh, Casey or whatever his name is, on Enter the Stars. There's things that he, he gets real religious, and I'm not, I'm not, I'm not into scripture like all that. So I'm not, uh, I know there's religious people that check out my page. But uh, I already, you already know how, you guys should already know how I feel about religion. I feel it's mind control, and that is what it is. The Bible's covered with gematria, so I'm not buying it. I'm not buying, that's their first, what is television? Programming mind control. What is the Bible? Programming mind control. It's the early form of television. What did they do before they watched television? They read books. It was entertainment. So what is also interesting about this Pied Piper, now that I say that. So Pied Piper, not only is Pied Piper 126, Dionysus 126, Kobe Bryant died on 126. He's the Pied Piper. So who is the Pied Piper? He's the he's the uh, he's misleading the masses, right? So this is a this is perfect symbolism for your Hollywood entertainers. And the Pied Piper has overlapping gamatra with Chadwick Bosman. <laughs> look what they look what look what they did with this photo. Oh, wow, that's tiny. So look at this photo, and this is a direct reference to YouTubers as Pied Pipers, okay? And that's the thing, like, if you come to my page and you're like, man, there's no one in here and all that, that doesn't mean my content isn't high-quality content. I'm censored by the government because I'm not giving you bullshit. I'm giving you as much truth as I can. But where you have someone like Enter the Stars... They're telling you, you know, they'll tell you some things here and there, but then at the end, they're telling you, put your, push your, put your trust and faith in God. Well, what is God? God is the government ordinance department. God is the Catholic Church, the Abrahamic religions, the um, the Knights Templar, whatever you want to call them, whatever secret society name you want to give them, they're all the same. They're all God, government ordinance par department one forty three. The Scottish, the, the Scottish Rite of Freemasonry equals 143. Government Ordinance Department, 143. Society of Jesus is 14 letters and three words, 143. As in, what did they give us with Ray J in the Hollywood song? 143, I, I, I love you. 143, I, I, I love you. Or whatever he says. <laughs> so... That's the 143. I love you. 143. Mr. Rogers connected to 143. Tom Hanks connected to 143. Then they're connected to pedophilia. But so what are they showing us in this Pied Piper symbolism? And it's blurry as fuck. But it's the, the Pied Piper misleading the masses. He's wearing the purple, the color of deception. Purple 88, Trump 88. So here's Trumpy on his trumpet. But here's the Pied Piper. But what is what is this symbology up top? It's the fucking Facebook likes, right? When you're on, you go live on Facebook. When you go live on YouTube, and you're getting all these likes and comments. So don't don't think that just because my page is little, then oh, it can't be good quality. It's actually quite the opposite. The bigger the page, the more misleading the person is. And there's people out there misleading and they don't know they're misleading. So with this Pied Piper, it's a perfect symbolism for Chadwick Bosman, Kobe Bryant. But why do I say Chadwick Bosman? Because Chadwick Bosman equals 131 and 193 in Gamatria. Entertainment equals 193 in Gamatria. 
Entertainment 193. But what is 131? It's the championship number. It's the number connected to... Uh, it's also connected to Kobe Bryant, Michael Jordan, Chadwick Bosman, and like I said, the Black Sun referencing. So I always forget that Pied Piper, so... So again, 193, the 44th prime number. So that's why I don't like going, oh God, God, this and that. It's like, don't you know that they're the ones misleading us? There's that. I'm not saying there's not good stuff in the Bible and there's not good practices. I went to a religious high school. I've already said this plenty of times. I don't have anything against Christianity or any religion in that matter, but it's all mind control. And if that's a tough pill to swallow, that's your issue, not mine. So in this movie, Blue Chips, and I did all these freaking screenshots, but my screenshots wouldn't work, and I can't find the... Maybe I could find the scene. I'll try to find the scene. Uh, Blue Chips... Well, I have to just explain it because I'm not going to find it. Oh, here it is. Here it is, baby. There it is. Our new house. Be prepared to be shocked. That's all I gotta say. I may have to go to Twitter to find this one. There's a lot of shit fucking... Uh, I'll probably have to go to Twitter on this one. Because I couldn't really find this... Uh, I couldn't really find this on, uh, what do they say? So this is the, this is this scene, this, uh, well, they're all, they're both scenes, but this is encoded this fucking occurrence where George Bush was in the classroom and apparently he has the book upside down as well. I don't know if he does, but. And then when the teacher or when the children are all saying the words like still. Like still as in the still building and like they're saying all those crazy words. They do this same shit in this movie. I tripped out when I seen it the other night. Let me see what it's called. See, and all they give you, and this is what they're doing on YouTube now. A lot of old good videos that I've seen, I can't see. Like everything, look at everything at the top. 
this is like a huge conspiracy theory moment, and it's all ABC, The Today Show, Associated Press, CNN, National Geographic. Like, they're just totally covering up the real content. It's like so ridiculous. There, it's like hidden. They're blocking everybody's content. You can't even view people's content anymore. Look, at, we're still on news. CBS News, Tampa 10. Fucking ridiculous, right? It's just ridiculous. Then, of course, they're... Uh, oh, okay, here's... Here's one. This one might be it. Wow, what was that? Hold on, hold on. Look at that was in the game yesterday where he said happy to be here. That says happy to be back or something. But look at they put that Rockets game. And they probably did that because they knew I was going to cover it. They put all kinds of shit in this Rockets fucking basketball game. Like for me, me personally to see because they knew I would look at this game and then they knew they would give me to cover all this. Like I said, they could they have future prediction technology. They know what the hell is going to go on tomorrow. Believe it or not, they already know what the fuck's going to happen tomorrow in your life, my life, and everything. And if you pay attention close enough, you'll start seeing them interacting with you. So let's see what this person says. I don't know what they're going to say. I've never seen... I'm doing all this live, so let me check the chat again real quick. Hey, what's up, Joe? I don't know what this... Uh... Oh, I gotta go up higher. Wow. <laughs> I seen some crazy stuff about uh, Satan and the truth too. So, um, yeah, those Bi the Bible is hard to translate, like for sure. I well, again, I see connections with Jesus and Lucifer and stuff, and I don't know what that means, but I see a lot of crazy connections. But yeah, the Bible. You spent a lifetime studying that and still still don't know what it means. Well, actually, speaking of the Bible real quick, I now that I remember, Genesis 126. Go watch that video with the Gianna Bryant. That shit's crazy. Here's this. This Bible verse was encoded on uh, Kobe Bryant's death. Genesis 126. Then God said, let us make mankind in our image. And it's a referencing to cloning. Because God, who's God? Government, ordinance, department. God, let us. Not God as a person, but as a group of people. And I'm not, and I I have a video on Flint, Michigan to make. that The Flint, Michigan crisis is in the Bible. But let us, as in government, ordinance, department, make mankind in our image. So whether it's human cloning, cloning or... Uh, the breeding program, as in mind controlling people to breed and give and birth the children that the government, the the specific individuals with the certain DNAs they want to be born. So make mankind in our likeness, so they may rule over the fish in the seas and the bird in the skies. So we could rule over the fish in the seas and the bird in the skies, but we don't get a rule above that, and we don't get a rule below that. Um, because it says, oh gosh. They could rule over the creatures that move along the ground. So we don't get a rule underground. We don't get a rule the underground cities. And we don't get a rule above the sky. So the mankind under God's control doesn't get a rule above or below. So it's as as above, so below. But it ties all into Gianna Bryant and underground cities. Like I said, go watch that video of mine that I showed earlier about Gianna Bryant and the pilgrim people. The video is titled Morning Rush Hour. 
But of course, it's the Genesis 126, the day that Kobe Bryant died. 126. Gianna Bryant equals 126. The Pied Piper, 126. Dionysus, 126. So, with the Bible, I was able to translate this verse, but there's a lot of other verses in the Bible that I'm like, I do not know what the fuck they're talking about in there. So definitely don't, you don't have to put the Bible down if you read it and if you like the teachings and shit. I'm not saying that at all. Like, it's a playbook. It's a script. Go ahead and go ahead and steal that because I didn't make that up. Government Ordinance Department. I didn't make that up. I got that from a YouTube channel. So if I got it from someone else, I won't claim it. But it's real. That's Government Ordinance Department. That's not. That shit's super legit. Like once I learned that, that like put a lot of shit together for me. But I didn't come up with that. It was this fucking real smart fucking chat video I seen of this fucking this black lady. She's a Moor. And she was fucking breaking that down. And I was like, holy shit. I was so glad that I seen this. Because. So government ordinance department is. 319 Lucifer 319. Definitely use it. This is real. This isn't something I made up. This is real shit. So again, I said 143. The Scottish Rite of Freemasonry 123. Society of Jesus is 14 letters and three words. I love you, one letter. Love, four letters. You, three letters. Like the Ray J song, one, four, three, I love you. It ties into fucking Tom Hanks as, um, what's his name? Zach did a, Zach did a video on uh, the one, four, three, and when Mr. Rogers died. He used to say, one, four, three, I love you as well. But if you type uh, Society of Jesus, you see it's 14 letters and three words. One, four, three again. So definitely use that. That's that's no joke. That's not and I made up. That's no like. That's like real shit. Because the lady in the video I watched, she was breaking down how to interact in the government system and with the, uh, under their laws and stuff. And then she, I was like, when she said that, I was like, man, that shit's fucking crazy shit. What's you twit face? Is that your uh, YouTube channel? Oh, YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook? Shadow ban? Oh, but yeah, what was this that you said? I don't know what that was. Crisis actors, ain't they? Ain't they like the scum of the earth? Why is this pulling down? Yeah, we're gonna get into this video with plane must hit still. Fucking crazy, but it's in the blue chips movie. On top of that, so. Yeah, you know, and now that you say the, the children, I'm like, I'm wondering, I'm like. About that, I'm like, I was wondering about those children in that classroom. Yeah, I don't post a lot on Free to Find Truth because uh, it's just like it's cluttered with information. So that's why I did my YouTube channel. This is like the best outlet for the content, even though I get censored. Nice information, Joe. (laughs) 
Yeah, this shit is all a lot of work, but we need a lot of fucking, we need a lot of, as many decoders as we can, because what I showed in the other video. Like, there's shit that I'm uncovering at the end of the year that was important for the whole year. And we're, and we didn't even know about it. Like, science, the word, well, science is 131. And 56, so 56 like the coronavirus, and then science is 41, like Kobe Bryant's death date, death age. But science is 58, like human cloning as well. Now that I now that I see that human cloning is 131 as well. But science is mind control, like like I said, the Bible, and then the toilet paper coronavirus 56 and all that. So there's our science connection. But more importantly, what I realized is that science is 303 in satanic gematria so it's like 33 if you remove the zero and i covered this already before but um it's 303 like saturn so i seen i'm in denver colorado so i seen the rituals they ran with the 303 area code denver colorado's the 303 area code so they did they had all these science rituals this year and this 303 with science was important because not only is it 33 and it ties into the uh the um the bombing the other day but it, it it's just an important it's an important with this 56 58 and 41 131 and 303 so no one's touched the word science in gematria as simple as a word and then and that there's more to it, but I don't want to. I don't. I don't like to regurgitate. Um, I don't like to regurgitate my work and stuff. Cause I know a lot of. Uh, I know a lot of my videos. Like people won't go back and watch them. I know people won't go back and watch my videos. So if I could not say everything and e keep regurgitating information per video, then. At least it, it it at least encourages people to go back and check out the content. So the Immaculate Conception is freaking two oh one, and I'm like, oh my gosh, they've been running a Mac. I bet they've been running Immaculate Conception two oh one rituals this whole freaking time, and we didn't even look into the Immaculate Conception. So these are all things science and Immaculate Conception. Like those words translate so well with the numbers. And there's that one twelve from the other day, but uh. And then we looked into this and we found like we went in the Google and we found a crazy mind control like a, a, a Catholic school video where this young girl kicks a football through the basketball hoop from the other end of the freaking. So I said like I was a perfect example. It was the it was one of the two days ago live stream or two two or three videos ago. So I'm like, that's why we need as many decoders and not on, not necessarily on free to find truth because where is free to find truth at? Not necessarily on here because this could get cluttered and a lot of people don't go to it. But if there's a possibility, like create yourselves a YouTube channel and like. That way it allows people to like actually, you know, it's a little easier and I'm on Twitter and stuff and I have a blog, but I just noticed the YouTube is like more gets more attention as far as like, like not as view count, but as like, if people want to see your shit, they'll subscribe to your page and shit. But I've noticed when I was posting on free to find truth for a long time. No, I was like, man, I'm going to, when Zach creates his website, I'm going to get like a thousand views on my videos and I'm going to get like a few hundred followers. And that's never happened like at all. And I was like, so that's why I'm disappointed. Not with him making this page, but with the type of people that are on this page. It's like, it's like, eh, all you got to do is click one of my videos and you'll see, I know what I'm talking about. It's not, it's not too uh, difficult.
Yeah, should I win it? Well, there's the Larry Johnson on uh, on Twitter. Larry Johnson, running back for the Chiefs, he he came out and and agreed that Gamacho could be real. Yeah, natural causes, right? It's like these super athletic dudes dying all um dying all young of natural causes. Yeah, that platform, it's, uh, here, I'll give you guys a, a, and then you, it's not a hard thing to do, but I'll give you guys a a little thing. If you come up to this search bar, this is the best feature of this platform and not many people know to use it like this. Click on the search bar and then if you type in a number 221 and then hit enter in, in the search bar, it's a data, it's a research database. Like when you're in college and it's a research database, this is what this is. So this is the best feature because there's all this free free content on whatever specific number you're looking at. So you could pull up. This is the best feature that I hope they don't get rid of this. So there's 28 posts with the number. There's 28 complete posts with the talking about the number 221. So let's see what this is. This year was all about 56. What do you guys think would be the number for 2021? Hey, has Zach said anything about it? By the way, the word 46 equals 118, death 118. So then Missy, and I'm following Missy on my page. Um, But there's a lot of things that need to be reformatted on his page because it's not user-friendly at all. And a lot of the... I don't even go to the page because... All this shit just blows over me. It's too wordy. It's just too wordy. People are too wordy. And it's like, man, if I really want to watch a video or like create a blog and shit and then share your fucking blog post. Like, don't give me this long ass. And then that's just for anyone. If you guys are doing that too, that's just the best advice. Create a blog or something and share your blog. That way, if people really like, it's it's like a news article, right? If a news article is catchy, give yourself a catchy heading and share your blog and then we'll read what the blog is about and then if we want to click it we'll click it but when you give us like these long ass posts it just doesn't work and i've told a lot of people that i'm like hey i like your work but you need to like format it like in a blog or in a youtube page and then people always have the same response oh you know i don't i don't want to be targeted because if i step out i don't want to step out there and it's like you're but you're out there you're just putting it you just don't want to take the time to do the blog I've told that to like 10 people. It's like, you gotta, you gotta step it up. Like, cause I'm just telling you, a lot of people aren't reading this. Like if this is a small post, okay, this is readable. But anything past this length of, of, of writing, a lot of people overlook that. I'm just being real with you. So let's see what Missy had to say though. I don't know, didn't hear anything from him about it, but was looking at the mirrors of so we're talking mirroring in ours because of the score of the game the mirroring of the 221 in the bat and the the mirroring of 911 with the king score and the mirroring of 221 with the rocket score so again i in the last video i was explaining when do you want to mirror numbers well when it's like when it stands out a lot like these ones did oh shit wrong page so So she was just, so he's asking what numbers for this year. And then she says, well, I think 122 and 221. And I'm, I'm in agreement with that. I was already seeing them riddling that. So now actually I got more information on 221 that I just remembered. It 
Oops, wrong one. So about this two two one, I said, I said, remember when Rosa Cruz and Joe was sitting? When remember when Joe Biden was sitting on two hundred twenty one electoral college votes? So Joe Biden was sitting on two two one electoral college votes. And I said, look at that. And I couldn't find a screenshot of that because they like to hide the good stuff. But when you type in creepy Uncle Joe into the calculator, it it, it equals 221. But pedophile also equals 221. So pedophile is another 221 number. Uh, the go as in the greatest of, of all time or the go as the sacrificial referencing. So here's our 221 with creepy Uncle Joe 221. He sat on two two one electoral college votes at one point. The greatest of all time is two two one. Bavarian the Bavarian Illuminati is two two one. But pedophile is two two one. So what is creepy Uncle Joe? We all think he's a pedophile because of not because of conspiracy, but because of the way he gropes children on the fucking political stage. So I think two two one is going to be big this year as well. Obviously, because it's the year twenty twenty one. So look for all this. They're gonna. They're going to definitely do a bunch of rituals in, in uh, remembrance of the Bavarian Illuminati and stuff. Sorry, I just wanted to. But if you want to see another 56, the skull and bones. That no one really covers the skull and bones is 56. I forgot about that. So Society of Jeezy. <laughs> Society of Jeezy. Society of Jesus, 56. The Skull and Bones, 56. And that's a fucking mind hack right there. When I just said the Society of Jeezy, that was literally the government hacking my mind right there. And I know because I know. I put in the research to know about the mind hacking technology. So there's our 56, Mind Control 56, Society of Jesus 56, Toilet Paper 56, Coronavirus 56, The Skull and Bones 56. So I always forget about The Skull and Bones at 56. They probably wanted me to remember that. But Trump is 263 in Satanic. And 263 is the 56 prime number. So who does Donald Trump work for? The Skull and Bones, Society of Jesus. Who does... Joe Biden worked for the skull and bones. That's why in this photo, he's doing the skull and crossbones. And it's a specific way that you hold your hands. It's the skull and crossbones. And I know people don't like my opinion about Zach, but I'm going to keep my opinion about Zach because I'm not going to fucking sugarcoat my work. But he's doing the skull and bones um, symbology. Zach is in his profile picture. Now, I'm just reporting what the symbology is. This guy, Zach, doesn't cover symbology, but I do. And he's doing a symbolic gesture. That's why he's wearing the black shirt and the black background. It's the skull and bones, a Rosicrucian, the Rosicrucian order. What is the Rosicrucian? The red cross with the white flag. That's why Zach had the white and red um, checkerboard on his Free to Find Truth page, but then he removed it. But when he made Free to Find Truth, I go, come on, dude, why'd you put this fucking Rosicrucian symbolism on your page? So then when I did a video, he removed it. It was up here with this free, there was a, there was a, there was, I think it was on this, or it was on Gamatria, it was on Gamatria Effect News blog, and he had the fucking red and white checkerboard. And I'm like, what the fuck are you, what? So that's just what it is. But anyways, I know people get all butthurt when I get on Zach, but I'm going to keep it fucking real. I ain't going to sugarcoat my work. So this is the best feature of Zach's website. Or if it's he's a Rosicrucian or not, it doesn't... There could be good parts of the secret societies. So he could be... Are there? I don't know. Either way, that's, that's another video. But come to this search bar and search the freaking database. This is the best feature. This helps... Well, how, and I don't use it enough. Well, look at this is interesting by Marco. And I got on Marco's ass the other day. Again, I'll keep it real. If you're over posting, I'll just tell you about it. And if you don't like it, I don't care. So that's crazy. Look at that. Look at look at the 666 triangular number is. 
Ah, oh, two 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 one one one. So there's our vaccine one one one, um, witchcraft one one one, mandatory vaccination two two two, um, mandatory vaccination is two one three as well. But order out of chaos two two two. But look at there it has that. I might have to save this photo. See, I like Marco's work, but then his other work, some of his work is just like, what? So you see how important this database is? I think I even commented on this. World Economic Forum is 222. So this is how, this is the most important feature of this website is this search bar right here. Yeah, Bonesman33, I covered that in a video. Yeah, definitely direct people to Zach's channel, that's for sure. Oh yeah, Jordan Maxwell. I've heard that name, but I have a lot of stuff to look at <laughs> to be honest with you, so Yeah, the superb owl that that Tennessee bombing was the Super Bowl ritual. Thirty five, like Baphomet. So, or uh, or that's twenty five. Oh, February two five. So there's our two five, right? <laughs> yeah, Marco does have good work, and uh, but I went to his page the other day. I commented, and his page is just he's he may be a fucking. Cycle. He may be a shill, to be honest with you, Marco. Where is it at? I commented on his freaking page, and uh, I got irritated with him. And then I asked him to share his YouTube channel. And he this is Marco's YouTube channel right here. And it's just, obviously he has this, this is like a Freemason symbolism, the watchtower. So he has the Freemason symbolism on his top of his page. But then I was reading through his videos and it's all fucking paradigm, left, right paradigm information. So Marco's probably just a fucking chill to be honest. But I like some of his work. Again, I don't mind. Like, I could have an opinion on Zach or anybody, but I still follow people. But this is probably not a page I'm going to follow because. Um, where's that one I seen? So let's see what he says. But I didn't like this heading at all. He says, Israel and Saudi Arabia. Israel and Saudi Arabia normalization delayed by US election results. Like we know they're all in it together. Why and if you're on fucking free to find truth, why don't you just say that these people are all fucking actors? So obviously these probably a shill because look at how high quality content it is. Let's see what Marco has to say in this. During a secret trip to meet with Saudi Crown Prince. See, I, I told you he's a fucking Mossad agent. I already called Marco a Mossad agent. He's a fucking Mossad agent. Ben Salman and U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo earlier this week, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu reportedly failed to reach a normalization agreement due to the recent U.S. election results. Ben Salman reportedly prefers to save such an announcement to help establish ties with the incoming U.S. administration, the Wall Street Journal reported on Friday. 
According to the Wall Street Journal, Saudi aides said the prince would be reluctant. Well, I'm not gonna keep playing it, but it's super high quality content. So this is, he's a fucking he's an agent, Marco. That's his page. He's he. I said, what you? I go create a YouTube channel. I go. You have a lot of good content, but it's cluttering the feed. You need to create like a fucking YouTube channel. And then he direct. He said, this is my YouTube channel. He's a fucking shill. Got way too much Marco posting. I'll probably he's probably posting right now. Or like this dude, and I don't even get on Pinnacle or on a uh, Free to Find Truth. This Illmatics dude is trying to clown and talk shit on my page. I go, why don't you create a fucking YouTube channel, bud? And of course, he doesn't even have a profile picture running his lip. This Illmatics guy, but then he's doing content. You know what I mean? So it's like that's the problem with the Truth community. Everyone's fucking at each other's necks and shit. This, okay, not too many posts. Look at my video was. Two hours and 22 minutes ago. Oh, well, two, 27? Well, Ritual's 27. And what was the... Uh, what was 27 years ago that I just did in the date duration? Oh, well, that's even better. 27 fits even better because we watch. What movie was that? So here, if you guys are looking for sports information, this, that, that Nashville, Tennessee, watch my other videos. They're long as fuck or watch anybody else's videos. You don't have to watch my long ass videos. Um, the Nashville, but if you take anything... Uh, from my video, it's the Nashville bombing is a Super Bowl riddle. And if you want to know why I talk shit about Zach, it's because Zach blocked me on all his pages because I uncovered a Super Bowl riddle last year and he didn't want people to see that. So he blocked me. So why Zach blocked me? I don't know. I don't know, but... So here's the here's the 25 years and 21 days. So it's not 25, but Die Hard with the Vengeance is 25 and 221. The movie from the release of Die Hard with the Vengeance to um to the to the Christmas Day Nashville bombing. So if it was 25, then they would have been directly associated with Die Hard with the Vengeance. And we already know Die Hard is associated with 9-11. And I'm going to have to get out the comments and get back on my video because um, I got to get back to this 9-11 thing I was about to do. So there's Die Hard with the Vengeance, but you said it was 27 years. So what do we cover earlier in this video and one and the other video? The Nightmare Before Christmas was released 27 years ago. So there's your 27 with the Nightmare Before Christmas. There's your 213 Hollywood area code, your mind control victim, your Rosicrucian order, uh your indoctrination 213, uh whatever I posted on Twitter for 213. I don't want to keep showing it because people who I have people who watch all my content and I don't want to fucking make them see the same thing over and over again, especially like imagine that I do like eight hour videos and I don't cover like the same shit that I already covered. I mean a little bit, but it's not like I'm regurgitating the same thing over and over for eight hours, but here it is. There's 27 and 74. Um, and then what is the soup super bowl? The soup, uh, superb owl well what did i say that building is it's the owl referencing so there's your superb owl at 131 and 112 look at that one those are big numbers for us so the greatest of all time is 112 oh shit is that a tom brady reference to the super bowl 
And I wonder why Brady plays in so many fuck. Well, I don't know. You could always call him that. No, that's not a direct connection. But science, 131. What was 131 and 112? The Pied Piper, 131. God, 131 and Satanic. Look at that. I didn't know that. What was 112 and 131? I thought something was 112 and 131. So superb Super Bowl 131, um, the Pied Piper 131. <laughs> That's crazy. Shit! By the end of by the end of these streams, I'm gonna have the Super Bowl winner pretty soon. Immaculate Conception 112. Hell yeah. If and I ain't gonna give you that information. If you wanna watch through all my videos, then watch through my videos. But I already made a connection with that. That's the clue I'll give you. Watch my other content. The greatest of all time 112. So I already said that. So, I thought there was a 130, but 131 is an interesting number, obviously, right? Okay, I have to get off the chat and I got to get on my fucking back on my content. As much as I love to talk to you guys, I know other people who are watching it. They don't want to see me just talk to fucking the chat. Actually, I'm going to take a little fucking break. But I appreciate your comments. I love interacting with the chat. What I'm going to do, if I get more and more followers, I only get like... Well, some of, one of my videos has like 700 views, but most of my videos get... They'll start maxing out over 100, and they'll start growing, but most of my videos get like 50 views and shit to start, so, but... It, what I'm gonna do is when I take breaks because I because I'm talking so much I have to go drink water or use the restroom or whatever when I come back from my breaks then I'm gonna interact with the chat but um that's what I wanted to start doing so I'm gonna take a little a little couple minute break here just to get a refresher but when I come back I'm gonna break down this bush video and then I'm gonna break it down with this freaking Cause I know the government doesn't want me to show this or something. That's why they fucking hacked my computer and closed all my fucking tabs. And I had all this inform information on the blue chip movie. And, uh, but I'm going to do it right here and right now. I'm going to do the blue chip movie right in this stream. Let me see where I am on time. So see, I'm already over two hours, so most people won't watch it that long, you know. So look at this, what I just seen. So Immaculate Conception is 201 and Scripted Sports is 201. So that's just for if anybody's seen that other video, you know what I'm talking about. So there's another fit with that. With that, actually, I'm gonna have to enter this in here. I gotta remember. I gotta start remembering some shit because I'm starting to build up a fucking list. Okay, let me take a, a break. And I'll try to be back under five minutes. So I wish I could get a little timer and then do a timer. That way people know how far or how long I'm gone. So I'll be back in less than five minutes. So if you want to go get some water or maybe you're in your house and it doesn't matter. But if you're on your phone, you know, I'll be back. I'll play some music. Five minutes at the most.
Oh, seven minutes. Sorry. Sometimes you just got to step away from the stream. Go watch this fucking video too. This shit's fire. Karen explained. I'm coming with nothing but fire. I'm coming with nothing but fire. Uh, where we at? Okay, so I got to get back to this work because I should have did this in a whole nother video is what I should have done. But we all know about the predictive programming with the uh, September 11th attack. I showed the Hulk Hogan and the freaking Twin Towers come crumbling down, brother. We showed that yesterday and I never got to this content. So, let's see what this person has to say about this. And hopefully they covered everything that needs to be said so I don't have to go looking for another video. Let me get a mic check. So let's see what this person has to say. They just say hit still. Boys and girls, okay. I've already I know a lot of we've already seen this, but this is directly tied to the movie Blue Chips, so I Isn't that isn't that fucking ridiculous though how people and there's our CK. Well, I said happy to be back. There's the CK, the magic, Christ killers and all that stuff. But in the basketball, John Wall, and he talks about playing with the Washington Wizards, like Washington, D.C., ACDC, Antichrist, Death Cult, CK behind her head, Christ killers. But he said he's just happy to be back in the game yesterday. So I said, look, at they code it. They coded what I was going to cover in that basketball game with this video as well because of the 9-11 connection to the basketball game yesterday. But isn't it a trip how, like, people, like, if they're asleep and then maybe you showed them this video and then they, like, oh, that's a coincidence. Or are they, like, they must get afraid and they're, like, you know, because they got their $50,000, $100,000 a year job. So they don't, they're, like, oh, I better not look at that. I don't know what that would mean for me. It's like, Jesus, like, isn't these fucking, isn't this, isn't the fact that they ran a hum, uh, a ritual human sacrifice, isn't that more, um, isn't that more important than your little, your little livelihood and your little comfort in the matrix? But what did I show? Ritual human sacrifice equals 911 in satanic gematria and then there's our 131 again so what and there's our skull and bones 202 there's our rosicrucian 211 synagogue of satan 211 so there's our ritual human sacrifice connection to the super bowl so there's our full blown connection to the basketball game yesterday with the 911 and the 131 And then, um, but anyways, what was 9-11, a ritual human sacrifice, September 11th, so it's, it's right there, the answer is right there, 
It's very simple to see, very easy. Yes, must. Let's read these words the fast way. M must hit still. Plain, plain must hit still. Kite and what is a kite? It's like an airplane, and it probably there's probably a whole nother meaning behind that kite, right? So let's check it out then. Let's see what kite. If we can see what is the meaning behind kite. Well, a kite is a bird. What is an owl? A bird. <laughs> so what is a kite? A person who preys on others? Look at that. The predator, as in the government, as the predator. A check drawn against uncollected funds in a bank account are fraudulently raised before cashing. A sale. A bad check to get money or credit. To cause to soar. To go in a rapid, carefree, or Flighting manner, so it's kind of like the plane was in a kite to rise rapidly, so to cause people to rise up against terrorism and go to war, but to get money, right? To to use it, so to fraudulently get money. So this is probably. This is probably what this kite means. A check drawn against a for, uh a check drawn against uncollected funds in a bank account are fraudulently raised before cashing. So a fraudulent a money grab. What do they do? They did an insurance policy on building well it's building one, two, and seven, right? One twenty seven. So um, Bavarian Illuminati is 127 so there's the Bavarian Illuminati coding on the fucking 911 buildings 1, 2, and 7 But it said there was a mathematic definition of a kite, I just seen. Well, there's our cross and our Knights Templar cross with the kite. a different a uh, couple different types of you know kites that we're going to be dealing with but there's some characteristics of kites first of all with kites all right um when dealing with a kite there's going to be at um at least two sets of sides that are going to be equal okay they're not always opposite like they were and there's no parallel sides either okay so we don't have any more parallel sides so the parallelism is out of the way for it to be a kite all we need to have in basic reality, what we need to do is have 
the diagonals be perpendicular. Okay? So the diagonals are perpendicular. Are you writing this one down, Aja? Your diagonals are perpendicular, as well as you have two sets of congruent sides. And then also, another thing that's nice about kites is you're going to have at least one pair of opposite equal, um, opposite or congruent uh, angles. You guys can see that these two angles would not be congruent to each other. Here, why don't I do it like this? Maybe it makes a little more sense there, how these two are not the same, but these two are. You guys see that? So a kite is always going to have at least one pair of... So again, but what did I say? A cross forms a kite. So it's all based, a lot of this is heavily based on symbology. So there's our cross and our Knights Templar, and we already seen the Bavarian Illuminati. We've we seen it in all this, and we're going to see the, the Knights Templar symbology in the, in the, um, not only are they referencing it right now with the George Bush video that we're watching, but it's in the Blue Chips movie. The Knights Templar symbology. Plus the Bavarian Illuminati. So we just seen Bavarian Illuminati is 127, Billings 1, 2, and 7. Congruent sides with them. All right. Um, and that's really the base of the sides. Just notice, guys, since we have a right angle, right? They're perpendicular sides since we have the right angle. Therefore, what do you think is going to come to play on your uh, homework? Some theorem that starts with a P. Pythagorean theorem. So, so it's the Pythagorean theorem, okay? So, and that's a heavy Freemasonic and squaring, uh, um, squaring your building, your structure, your foundation, 47. But Pythagorean theorem, okay? So what is Pythagorean theorem? Why is that important to us? Not only is it a heavy Freemasonic term, but in this dark blue cipher, in this full reduction, this is called Pythagorean Gematria. So they're probably they're probably they're probably signaling the use of the numbers, and not only are they symbolizing the symbolism of the cross with the ritual human sacrifice and Jesus as the sacrifice, as martyrdom, as the terrorists are martyrs for their belief system. But they're probably signaling the importance of this full reduction or Pythagorean gematria in the ritual. So like championship, well, I don't think terror is 68. So it's a clue to that this code is going to be heavily involved. We know that, though. So Twin Towers is 49. 227 is the... And that's a whole, that ties into mathematics. This number ties into mathematic equations. With prime numbers and um, the circle. Pi and all that stuff. And I've covered that so many freaking times. But I'll, I'll so. So September in the full reduction. We're just looking at this blue right now. And of course, September 11 is huge with these 77s and all these 77 rituals. But. In September 11 is 67. There's our blood sacrifice. We already talked about ritual human sacrifice. There's our human sacrifice, blood sacrifice, our 67 number. Um, I'll sing Eyes 56, but I forget that. So with that with that 77 we just seen right there and September 11 is 77 we've already hammered people have already hammered that away but September 11 is 77 in this reverse so the opposite so what are we talking with the kite pull uh, we're talking symmetry right the opposite sides are this have the same it's a symmetrical shape so symmetry so on this 
left side we have the Pythagorean gematria so on the right side we have reverse full reduction the opposite of Pythagorean gematria so it's perfect because he's referencing Pythagorean gematria but in the symbolism is the symmetry the symmetry of the on the left you have the Pythagorean gematria now we're thinking about the numbers in the kite shape okay so we have the reflections, right? Reflections. 119, 911, all seeing eye is 119, 911 is the reflection of 119. So they're they're referencing the cross of the Knights Templar, the cross of Catholicism and Christianity Christianity, the reference of the sacrifice or the execution on the cross. Execution is 127, Bavarian Illuminati 127, All Seeing Eye 119, The Reflection in 911, Ritual Human Sacrifices 911. So we're getting all these little hidden references in that. So All Seeing Eye is 56, right? But then here's our reflection. So now we're able to expand. Not only is like is he giving us this clue with this. But now we're able to explain to this cipher because of the reflections. And then we've seen the 77 and it's in the perfect symmetrical cipher to Pythagorean gematria. Reverse full reduction is the opposite of full reduction when you take the alphabet backwards. So in that cipher it's 77 and we uh, flight 77 stood in the air for 77 minutes and all those 77s that all the other gematria people cover with the 911 ritual but so then what is terror oh well that's reverse or ordinal well terror is 68 and i just seen a 68 Not in championship, but I thought I'd seen it somewhere. Well, anyways, let's get back to this Twin Towers at 49. So Twin Towers is 49. And I again, I said he's pointing to this cipher. So 227 is the 49th prime number. So... The Society of Jesus equals 227. Ancient accepted Scottish Rite of Freemasonry equals 227. Ancient accepted Scottish Rite of Freemasonry equals 119. The reflection of 911. So there. Every, the thing about these rituals is that all these fucking societies code themselves in this shit. So from the Nashville bombing to 9-11 to the basketball game the other day that I covered. They're all coded with all these same fucking numbers that they always... Whatever. Got a brain fart, but... So ancient accepted Scottish Rite of Freemasonry is 227, but it's also 119. And I don't have the cipher on, but it's, um, isn't it Well, Scottish Rite of Freemasonry is 127. Buildings 1, 2, and 7. So it doesn't have to be 119 because it's fucking 127 and it's 227. So in this fucking 911, we're getting the Scottish Rite of Freemasonry tag their self. We're getting the Society of Jesus tag their self. We're getting the Bavarian Illuminati tag their self. And we're, we're getting... Um, the Knights Templar tag their self. We're getting the same people that always tag their self, tag their self in all these rituals. 
So it doesn't surprise me one bit at this point. Although it is ridiculous. So look at whole or well that's Holy Roman Emperor. I thought that was Holy Roman Empire. So there's why that's why they use kite. And maybe probably some other things. And I don't even know what, what are the, the what are the degrees of a kite. Well, I don't know if this is always what it is, but there's a 35 Baphomet and then 25 Death or ACDC Antichrist Death Cult, Washington DC Death Cult, Washington ACDC. Well, the degrees change, so, you know, but don't forget the kite as in the Red Cross, right? Red Cross is 56, Washington, D.C., 56, Society of Jeezy. G See what I mean? See, I did. They had me do it again. Society of Jeezy. Society of Jesus, 56. The Skull and Bones, 56. Another fucking mind fuck as I say the same fucking thing. The society of Jeezy. So, yes, it's not a full expanded, expanded cross, but it's the nice Knights Templar cross, which is the kite. So we're going to see that. The red cross, though, fits perfect in the coding of 9-11 as well. Because it's just the 56. But what is this? It's a kite, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. I can't believe these people fucking do this shit. Kite. Hit still. Plane must. So what is it? What are they performing? Indoctrination 213, the Rosicrucian Order 213, Mind Control Victim 213, Death 213, Death 118, Predictive Programming 118. And they try to pretend like one, and you know, that's the thing, like one man's in control. So like, you know, maybe like f several years ago, I'm like, oh, you know, I could be president. You know what I mean? I could handle all that. I could run this country. And it's like one fucking guy isn't running the fucking country. How stupid that like, we all believe that. Like, why would you even put all your faith into one person to fucking control everything anyways? Like, that just sounds stupid as fuck. Computers run the fucking country. Supercomputers. I mean, and if if you really, if something really happened, wouldn't you just be like, stop? We gotta stop. There's an emergency. Like, oh, we don't want to let these kids down. We're gonna sit here. <laughs> We're gonna sit here for another ten minutes and go through this little bullshit. Like, how stupid, right? A real fucking full blown emergency, and he's like just sitting there still. So what is GOAT, the greatest of all time? 80. The greatest of all time, 221. Bavarian Illuminati, 221. 
So there's our fucking the pet goat. There's our 188, our 221 referencing, our 80 referencing. Baphomet is 80. The Knights Templar 80. And all those fucking 80s we covered. So it, it fits right in. It is blue chips is no joke. It has this fucking same numbers on the blue chips. The 188. So remember that pet goat. So that's why they made that video, Pet Goat. I was like, what's up with that stupid video? But um, Pet Goat, you know, the goat, the greatest of all time, 188. Michael Jeffrey Jordan, 188. Bavarian Illuminati, 188. So keep that 188 in mind because in the blue chips, they're going to have the number 188 on the wall as he's in the classroom. Plus a bunch of other shit and some fucked up shit. So notice how the children are reading and they're all doing it in a group, right? So remember that. Remember that. Remember that too. What does he say? What does it say behind his head? Reading makes a country great. So that little chalkboard behind him says, reading makes a country great. So in the fucking movie Blue Chips, they have a little sign behind his head that is like this. Not, 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 um... Not the Society of Jeezy, not Shaq, but behind the coach, Nick Nolte. There's a sign I was going to decode at the end of the movie. There was another clip that I was going to decode to show you the Gamatra in the movie that's clear as day. Not the Society of Jeezy. Motherfuckers. Okay, oh, reading makes a country great. Maybe it's for the 113 and the full reduction because that's that big deception number and all that. Maybe it's like fiction is reading and I don't know. This is when I like to go to fucking Zach's fucking blog and uh, his old blog. So if you come up to his search bar, it's another search engine. And if you type a number in his search engine of his blog, it'll pull up all the stories that he has in his old blog. And too bad that wasn't a feature on his new blog because... So military, like who caused 9-11, the military. So military 107. So this one's interesting because it pairs... 105, 107 with 118, the predictive programming, 118, death, 118. Mm. 
Mad Dog Madison or what? What is his name? Mad Dog Mattis or whatever. Fucking stupid, right? Mad Dog. Good times. Another pairing with 107 and 118. Ritual Sacrifice. There it is, baby. There it is. Ritual Sacrifice 107. Reading Makes a Country Great 107. Ritual Sacrifice 107. Predictive programming of ritual sacrifice. And they're going to say in that blue chips, they're going to give a fucking co a hint to that and the fucking uh, Bible verse John 3.16. Remember they did that fucking Burning Man sacrifice? That shit was wild. The dude, they said the dude jumped into the Burning Man. There's our 157 Mojo Smoothie, yeah. Okay, well, that was good. See, that's why it's good to go to that fucking page because we got some... Something like that has to be... They don't put... Ain't putting this sign right behind his head for no fucking reason. So, again, that's not scripting. That's mind control. You know, that's not everyone like the teacher. Oh, make sure you write that, ma'am. Or we're going to put this board... No, it's mind control. She probably wrote that at the beginning of the year and they had it all planned and they mind controlled her to write that. And I don't even want to continue this video, but if I, I might as well watch this full video because if there's some I may miss, I'm, I, I, I better just go through with it. Let's clean that up. Get ready, travel butt. Get ready. So the goat, the sacrifice referencing. Let's try to get to where he's fucking running his lip. Someone's going to have to go back and break down this whole kids, whatever they're saying, and put it in text for us, right? That's why I said we need a fucking infinite amount of truthers because we can't all cover all this shit. Because chances are I have these fucking four hour plus videos and a lot of the content doesn't get watched and I could have fucking gems packed all in this shit. So they're sitting there while the Twin Towers are burning, like, without, you know. It's not that big of an emergency. We're going to let these kids read on because we don't want to disrespect the children. Nice and loud, Chris voices. Let's go. Hey. Then they got all the fucking children in school with masks fucking passing out and barely able to breathe, right? Shooting them up with fucking 100 plus vaccines and shit.
Okay, well, I thought he said a little some some. But uh, we got all we needed to see out of that. So don't forget the 188, the pet goat, and the Knights Templar symbolism with the kite referencing. Don't forget them reading in unison with the predictive programming of the still plane must hit, come down, society of Jeezy. So notice they're reading and they're doing the plane must hit track crank da, 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 da. and then they're reading in that slow unison, right? So it's the same concept. They're in the classroom. So there there's that part. But that ain't even it. That's that's not even what I seen at first. But then once I heard what they said next, that's what I knew right away. It was connected to that. Uh, and again, this came in 1994, four years before 9-11. I think I did the date duration with this the other day. So February 18th is when Blue Blue Chips came out, 1994. Let's see if what I missed. February 18th. September 11th, 2001. Oh, okay, that's what I seen. So from the anniversary to the Blue Chips movie is 206 days. So from the date, the anniversary day of the of the movie's release day to September 11 is 206 days. 25 is death, ACDC, Antichrist death call, ACDC is 25 but it's 206 days, 206. So there's Knights Templar right there again. So Sacrifice is 206. Sacrifices, and I'm not, it's just the Jewish, uh, Jewish cipher. Sacrifice is 206, but the Knights Templar is 206 as well. So there's our Knights Templar, and then there's our 80 with the GOAT is 80. Greatest of all time is 80. Knights Templar is 80. Uh, my pet GOAT or whatever in the storyline. The GOAT as the sacrifice referencing. So here's our Knights Templar. Again, not only on the kite, but here it is with the date duration of the movie anniversary to the September 11 anniversary so then notice this when they, it's the predictive programming right death 25 predictive uh, death 118 predictive programming 118 death 213 Hollywood Area Code 213, Mind Control Victim 213, The Rosicrucian Order 213, Indoctrination 213, because what is school indoctrination? So notice what they say. They say they're reading a story. They're singing the song, Once When I First Came to This Land. So look how they do the they do the little sneak, sneaky predictive programming like the students did as well. They do it in this movie. So you notice how they, and if you can't hear it well, they say, I built myself a shack 
I called my shack and then who comes walking around the corner after they say they do the predictive programming of a shack. Shaq walks around the corner, Shaquille O'Neal. So that's what I noticed. Not only did I notice them reading in the unison like in the movie, but then I noticed that uh, the predictive programming with them saying Shaq and then big ass Shaq comes around the corner. What do you know? Shaq walks around the corner. How did they know Shaq was going to walk in that classroom? So there's there it is right there. So then I said, okay, I need to look into this super hard because uh, there it is. That's our first. Those are those are our first connections to 9/11. The three we've already had three connections: the date duration of the movie, the wi- the children reading in unison, and then the predictive programming with them predicting Shaq calling out Shaq, and then Shaq walks around the corner. So I'm only doing this to try to break up any content. So then what I did is I, like, I started trying to analyze all the fucking shit on the walls and all that. Because they're in the classroom, obviously. You can't see it good, but it's not in high definition. So I'll just have to try to... Because i just seen it, but... I I don't think you're going to get a good view of it. I think that was the best view, but it's not in high definition. So, this is the best view of it and it's it's crappy. So, right on above his left shoulder, there's the number on this little painting right here. And that number right there is 188. Greatest of all time is 188. Michael Jeffrey Jordan is 188. Bavarian Illuminati 188. So they have the 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 little Bavarian Illuminati coding and the greatest of all time. Pet goat, right? Sacrifice of the goat. Goat 80. Knights Templar 80. So there's our whole 80 connection and then the 206 days and all that. Um so there's that 188 on that photo and go watch the movie you can't see it at all in this but trust me that's 188 on that photo i already fucking looked at this before so but check this shit out when he walked in the room so i noticed that 188 and i go look at there's the fucking 188 but what else i noticed is that on this other photo below him, it says this fire. It's like a drawing. And you can't see it. It sucks because it's. I took screenshots on Amazon Prime, but they blacked out my screenshots. Apparently, you can't screenshot even movies because I had super clear photos. So, it has this fire emergency exit. And I go, well, what was the Twin Towers? They were on fire. So, in this photo with the 188, there's this big house building. And on this house, they have two doors that look like the Twin Tower building. And I said, well, who would draw a house with two doors? And they're standing right next. So, on this photo, it's the 188. And then there's a house with two doors standing like two twin towers. So there's the twin towers is drawn in this photo. So a pit, imagine a, this drawing with the 188 where watch my cursor. There's the 188. And then there's the house with the two doors that are strikingly similar to the Twin Towers. And then below that is the photo of the fire and the exit. But it's pointing up to this first tower. Or, well, I mean, 
it's pointing, I think, the second tower, that foul. It's pointing directly up to it. So there's that. There's At that point, you should realize the, the twin tower referencing. And, and go watch the movie. You'll see it yourself. So then notice in this photo, in the background, you see this Knights Templar symbolism right here? And I can't look at my cursor. So here's the red and white of the cross of the kite, but it's more specifically the Knights Templar symbolism, like the swastika, you see it? You see the Knights Templar cross in this? So here's our more Knights Templar coding. And don't tell me, don't tell me that's a coincidence. Don't tell me that's just a drawing. I know exactly what that is. That's a reference to the, and there's probably even more symbolism to it, but I know exactly what that is. That's the Knights Templar fucking cross right there. So you, if anyone, I would love for someone to try to tell me that because I would, I would just go off on you to how you don't know enough and you should keep your mouth shut. So, well, let me show you that George Washington on the wall shit was crazy. You know what? I don't think they got the full fucking I don't think they got the full the full movie in this screenshot. Yeah, they didn't get the full movie in this screenshot. Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay, so notice this shit was crazy too. So there's the George Washington and there's our 187 or Washington DC 187. Here's our 187 because George Washington is 187. I'll just show the little. I'll just show the fucking. I'll show the fucking photo. So there's our 187. Not only is it 188 and then 187. Um. So there's the George Washington is 187. So phallic sign is 187. Washington DC is 187. Holy Empire is 187. Ancient accepted Scottish Rite of Freemasonry is 187. Society of Jeezy is 187. Satanic, but more, so George Washington is 187. But more importantly, most importantly for the 187 is satanic ritual abuse is 187. So George Washington is 187. Satanic ritual abuse is 187. Washington DC 187. Washington death cult. Washington antichrist. And then like in that lady when she's the, the teacher in the George Wash or George Bush video. She's sitting in front of that thing and the CK, the Christ killer is next to her head. And I Christ death cult, Christ killer, all fucking Rosicrucian and all these same fucking society. It's all their same symbolism that we constantly see all the time in everything. But most interesting that I found with this George Washington is that I had a friend tell me that they that there's a conspiracy 
theory, and I'll call them conspiracy theories. I don't. That's because that's what stupid people say. But we know these all as truth. But there's a conspiracy theory. She said that George Washington was actually a black uh, a black man. So as I was looking in this, I said, "Look at that George." There's the regular George Washington as the Christ figure with the. Uh, with the red and blue, the Jesus Christ red and blue are the political divide and conquer. Here's the regular George Washington and notice his skin and you probably can't see it well, but his skin is colored like pink. He's like the color of his actual skin. Well, then in this George Washington below him, he has the black hair and his skin is, is not colored in. So I said, look at that. I go, are they trying to, are they trying to sim or are they trying to point out that, um, um, are they trying to point out the uh, the George Washington was a black man referencing? Because this guy down there has the dark black hair, and then we all know George Washington as the white and pink. And then so he's in the proper get up in the top photo, but in the lower photo he's in the black hair, and he still has the red and blue Jesus Christ referencing. So, but there's more to that. So remember that. But one more thing I noticed too. Is that also above Shaq's head? Am I zoomed in or something? So also above Shaq's head, well, there's another photo. It's above this fucking 188 Twin Tower photo. There's another drawing of like a Shazam looking character, like a genie or like a fucking mermaid type. But it kind of reminded me of Shazam. So I don't know if Shazam came out before or after this. But there's also another photo above Shaq's head that looks like a mermaid. And I know they said that the Atlantis was a... Civilization, civilization of uh, black, um, um, darker melanin people, whether you want to call them black or whatever you want to call them. So I don't know if they're just throwing some conspiracy, conspiracies in here or if that photo above his head represents Shazam. But if you have Amazon Prime, this movie's on there. Go check out that these photos in high definition for yourself. So... What was also crazy and I know people you don't have to believe this part of what I'm gonna say, but they had these and I did the connection to Valentine's Day because it's Valentine's Day and the hearts um but in the Hulk Hogan and Macho Man. Twin Towers come crumbling down reference. Um, the heart is the sacrifice referencing. And Hulk Hogan says, we're going to rip out their heart or some shit like that. So then I was like, well, isn't that interesting? Because the WWE is uh, with the Hulk Hogan and Macho Man and the Twin Towers. And I'm not going to show that video. I showed it yesterday. And a lot of people know what that video is. But in that video where the Twin Towers come crumbling down. They do the heart referencing. I go, well, look at this because this is Valentine's Day and then the heart's from the ceiling. So, and I know this gets deep right here. Most people won't agree with what I'm about to say. But these hearts falling from the sky, like I took that literally. I'm like, are they trying to reference the people who jumped out of the towers? Like, I think they are. I think that's what these falling... I think these are the sacrifices, right, of the people jumping out of the towers, jumping to their death. But then I noticed they had these, like, frailly feet and arms and stuff. And then I go, when, and again, a lot of people, when I looked at the photos of the people who jumped out of the towers and the gruesome photos, and I'm definitely not going to show that on here because... It's definitely too gruesome for a video. But the people who hit the ground, their intestines, like their heart, right? And their their small intestines, like these fraily legs, they were their fucking bodies were splattered all over the ground. 
and their intestines were all over the place and all kinds of stuff. So I'm like, is this referencing of these fucking falling hearts? Is that referencing the people who are going to fall out of the towers? And look at that kid's wearing 25 on the back of his shirt. I didn't even see that before. 25 ACDC Antichrist Death Cult is 25 ACDC 25. Washington DC 187. George Washington 187. Satanic Ritual Abuse 187. Ritual Human Sacrifice is 911. So look at that kid's wearing the ACDC number on his back. And of course, like, what is Shaq the tower? And he's like grabbing the kid, like, if the kids fucking fall in, and then like the kids under him are trying to catch him, like they're rescuing, right? Like, here's the fucking firefighters are the rescue down there trying to catch a person who's jumping from a building. I just noticed that now. I didn't see that before. Okay, you can't see it good, but you got to and there's probably another clip, but notice right behind Nick Nolte's head is an is another fucking George Washington. So he has the same black hair. Look at my cursor right behind Nick Nolte's right shoulder. So there's the George Washington, but look at there's the full referencing to George Washington cuz there's Abraham Lincoln right next to him. Well, I'm assuming that's Abraham Lincoln. But we already know that's George Washington cuz they already had cutouts of him. But here's the George Washington, and look at the color shirting he's wearing as well. It's kind of like an African, uh, it's kind of like an African uh, getup, right? He's wearing the colorful African dress. Dress his now his fucking now his uniform. It's not painted red and blue. It's full blown like a fucking native African colors. And then of course Washington, he still has the black hair, but then now he has the full on dark brown skin in this Washington. So I was like, you know, they don't do things on coincidence. Like they hang they hang the regular looking George Washington with the white hair and the pink skin. Then they give us George Washington without skin color but the black hair. And then now finally in the final George Washington we see he has the black hair, the dark skin and the the colorful uh dress. Oops. And I don't know if they're going to give a better... But you see him right there. You see George Washington in the colorful get-up. He still has the red and blue on him. But now he has all these colorful get-ups and purple. Purple's 88. I think Washington equals 88. But then uh, again, he has the black... The dark brown melanin skin. And then the black, dark black fucking hair. So are they trying to tell us something about that? Maybe they possibly are. And there's one more super telling thing to the 9-11 ritual, but I, we're not going to see it in this video. Because uh, the quality isn't good enough. So on this fucking chalkboard, when she's talking... So I think there's a point later on that she goes in front of the classroom... And I can't even remember what I was going to say about it. But it said on the chalkboard and she was blocking the chalkboard and under her arm there was only. And I and this is they deleted my freaking list. So I forgot the whole connection I had because I had a crazy ass connection. But it said. It said one twelve, and then it said one, and then above it it said soon. That's what it said on the chalkboard. The only thing that was like that I seen that was real telling. So that equals ninety four. Didn't we have a ninety four? Ritual human sacrifice is ninety four. So this is what it said on the chalkboard. So what? It said 12 1 soon. So 94 and look at and I didn't even know this last time. Ritual 
human sacrifice is 94 so there's our 94 connection but ritual human sacrifice is 911 right and it's in the 94 twice it's in two cyphers 94 so it says 1 121 soon so 6 years before it had this final little note on the thing so 121 well what is 121 it's a ritual human sacrifice Human sacrifice 121, blood sacrifice 121, or whatever one of those are. So here's our fucking, it says it on the chalkboard, like, the it's coming soon. 9-11 is coming soon. One, 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 two, one, soon. So go watch the video and you'll see all that. It's written on the chalkboard underneath her arm. So human sacrifice is 121. So you see it's that 58 and that the 911 upside down the hearts have the on the hearts it's the upside down it's two hearts it's the upside down ref, a, a, a reflection referencing What are the hearts? There's two hearts, the as above, so below, but the reflection, right? The 911 upside down and then the 116. So there that is too. So I, I, I didn't even do all this. This is, it's clearly a 911 fucking referencing. Because it says 121 soon, human sacrifices 121. 121 soon equals 94. Ritual human sacrifice equals 94. Ritual human sacrifice equals 911. So human sacrifice one to one soon is the hearts is the one is the reflection right? So if you have nine eleven the upside down reflection like the hearts are is one one six. I mean, it, I guess it could be six eleven. You know what's crazy? That 611 is in that basketball game. I don't know what the fuck is up with that basketball game, but there's some fucking crazy ass coding to that basketball game. That is fucking bizarre. I don't know. I may I I got one more decode for this fucking blue chips, but Oh, Kite is used in Chaos Magic, huh? Nice. Yeah, th I know fucking Sunny probably cashed out, but thanks for tuning in. Well, again, and I know people aren't here anymore, but uh, I can't tell that Super Bowl riddle. You would have to, uh, you would have to view the other videos. Well, if you need to hear it, then you'll have to watch it. So, thanks for the subscription. One twenty six sums to one thirty uh, sums to one thirty one, huh? And entertain. Look at there. It's one ninety three entertainment and fifty eight and fifty nine. One twenty six is human cloning, or uh, those are all human cloning numbers. So thanks for that. One twelve with uh, fucking Society of Jesus or whatever. So if you ever anyone comes back, 
or if you guys are still in the chat, sorry, but I had a, it's a lot of content. That's why that turns into fucking eight hour videos because, uh, interacting with the chat, you know, will soak up another hour. Mm, marriage, I'm down with that. It's like marriage is a fucking uh, Freemasonic ritual. That's why you wear white and black in marriage. Kai is used in chaos magic. Page 153. 153 like the fish in the boat page. 153 for the story. Story should be the sitting duck. 113 deception. You can search new blog. Top right. Yeah, in his, uh, in his video, you can search the blog, but, uh, you can't search the number by number. You could just search the blog. Like from what I, what I went on there and like, I like to search the number. Like you could search the stories all day, but. Maybe they, maybe he edited it to where you could type in the numbers. Also, I noticed lately the blog seemed to connect in the search on the old one. The... Also, I noticed lately the blog seemed to connect in the search on the old one. If you use the blog link on gematrinator.com. Huh, I kind of don't know what you mean there. But yeah, gematrinator.com also has a blog that you can search. but uh, And I don't even search his blog enough, so I should probably do that more. So, and I know you guys probably aren't here, or maybe. Is it, gem, uh, is it Gematriate? Or is it Gematria 88? I call you Gematria 88, but I heard another person. Um, oh, what was it? What was his name? Grant? I went into his video, and then I seen that you and Grant were buddies. And then he calls you Gematriate. So Grant probably knows because you probably had a conversation with him. Well, then also with this fucking blue chips, because I was saying the, the, uh, the as above, so below, and then here's the tree in the background, but, and again, you can't see it good in here, but the tree is also like some lung, like it looks like lungs. And I know the the tree is literally the lungs of the earth, but, um, but here's our fucking as above, so below. They don't have the roots, but if you look at the tree, it kind of looks like roots Go watch the movie because you see it clear. But also, it was kind of weird, but I pulled out... I, since I've been on this all this gay talk and all these fucking... Um, this talk about, uh, about the gay and the phallus and the phallic sign and the, the huge cock 73 and the obelisk 73. I'm only talking that because I'm just doing the decodes. But I've kind of, the tree kind of looks like fucking some testicles with the fucking upside down. I know that's kind of, I don't even know if that means anything, but it doesn't look like that here. But when you watch it live, it literally like looks like two balls. These, uh, each side of the branches and then the trunk, right? So I don't know what that means, but then we have the sun over here in the background and then it's a seven pointed sun. So it's seven, one, two, three, seven rays. You can't even see it good on here, but I'm pretty sure it's seven rays. It looks like six right here. 
But when you look at when I, I looked at the fucking Amazon, I'm pretty sure this tree is seven or this sun is seven rays because I counted it. I go, oh, there's an extra ray on there. You it, you definitely can't see it, but one of these big rays is actually two rays, but it's such bad quality you can't see it. But then what do we just realize from now? I now I see some. So it's seven years and two hundred and six days since from blue chips to so seven there's our seven connection and that's another fucking the seven pointed star of like a Christ, christian witchcraft or whatever it's called but uh yeah that was interesting uh gamatriate i'm gonna have to look at what you just said about that uh Kite is used in chaos magic. But page 153, but like page 153 of what? <laughs> is it that's how you spell it? Chaos with the J. Ha Hello, I'm the kite, and I hope that this site becomes a great resource for your exploration of chaos magic and magic for s skeptics. So here's this. And this ain't it, but this is like that seven-pointed star of the Christi, uh, Christianic witchcraft or whatever. But here's our Baphomet star and then the 80 with the Baphomet. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, four, six, eight. Okay, well, this I thought maybe that would be the seven-pointed star. So this is probably in one of my books I have. So yeah, clearly is a kite, obviously, because these people, I typed it in, and then the kite has all these referencing about for the kite. So what is it just like a reference page or are they going to just reference stuff or is it may contain nuts. I don't know. I could look into it later. But thank you for that. Uh, definitely fits right in, right? Oh, no. So I don't think I'm going to show that fucking final blue chips fucking little clip because I it just proves the gamatria or maybe I'll show it on another fucking video but I kind of feel like being done and then it's super late or early so most people probably fucking cashed out at this point.
Um, okay, yeah, I'll probably just fucking, uh, Oh, I didn't explain this real quick, but I already explained this enough. 22 divided by 7 is pi and 49, so. 22 divided by 7, it's the circle referencing the circumference of the circle as in pi. So here's our circle referencing. So we have the kite, the circle, the heart shape, the symmetry. Symmetry is, so what is a heart? A symmetrical symbol, 127, buildings 1, 2, and 7. Bavarian Illuminati, 127, execution, 127. So no doubt about it, there's our predictive programming for 9-11 with this fucking, uh, With the blue chips movie. And I, I have another... I guess I have... It's longer than the clip that I was saying. But the blue chips clip is actually uh, longer than I... Uh, there's a few, few more things to it. So... Okay, no one, no one else is commenting. So thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Uh, I'm trying to keep my video link down because I want people to watch it all. But uh, So thank you guys. Have a good night. And uh, I appreciate all the support in the chat. I appreciate all the information. We all have something to teach each other. So uh, I love when someone shows me something like Gematriate or like Sunny or like um, Joe. Jared, I seen Jared ran out of here because I was talking about him <laughs> on his birthday. Uh, it's just probably a fucking ritual to mess with Jared today. So, but I had to tell like it is because I don't like when I fucking, I find someone to follow and then I feel like they're not living up to, thank you. I feel like I hate when people aren't living up to, uh, their standards. Hey, uh, Gematriate, do you have a channel? I know, uh, what's his name? I gotta watch his content. Uh, oh gosh, I forgot his name. Grant. Was it Grant Rogers? I gotta watch some of his videos. I watched one of a real short one, but I was gonna watch his, uh, his 50 minute. Maybe I'll do that because I ain't gonna be able to sleep. Well, if you have a channel, and is that, oh, I thought maybe that's what Sunny was saying, but. Thanks, Joe, if you check this out. Thanks for Jordan Maxwell. I've heard the name. I do got a few people that I cover that are, that are, uh, I'll just save his website real quick. Oh, yeah, my friend told me about this. She she told me about Jordan Maxwell. Or someone told me already on here. But typically these, like, people are like Masons and shit, so. So he's doing, doing that key referencing of the, uh. Yeah, I like all I like to look into all this, but a lot of these people get deep into the fucking honestly some of the stuff I'm already past, even though I haven't learned it, and I'm not saying that about Jordan Maxwell. But when people want to keep it on the the magic, like the full blown, like I already know it's the advanced technology, so I'm not gonna get sucked into a belief that I'm already past. But I definitely like a friend of mine gave me a book that I need to read, but so, of course, like, you know, his DVDs are fucking super expensive, so.
so I, I the thing is I I I don't mind looking into these people. Look at his color like mine. But uh sometimes sometimes they'll turn me off right away with with some belief, like some lower level belief than I've already progressed past, but even though like this dude obviously could teach me a lot of shit, so Who don't trust Jordan Maxwell? Don't trust or don't trust Grant Rogers? <laughs> yeah, I, I've heard. I think I've heard bad things about Jordan Maxwell, but I, I don't worry. I know I'm. I, I'm. I'm very good at uncovering shills. So, but the the thing is, is like, even if you don't trust someone, you could still look into their information. Like that little kite website. Like I'm gonna look at that, but. I don't, I don't, I could already tell I don't believe in that, a lot of that stuff, but they'll give you, you know, they'll give you some great information, but yeah, if you're saying not to trust this guy, like I definitely already don't trust him by his page, but I'll look into it though. The A as an A as an 88. Do you know about the A and the Annalie? Well, well, you probably know about the A, but and I think I remember that um, you're female, but. So here's the figure eight, obviously, but let me show you something about it. And don't call me a pervert, what I'm going to show you. I'm showing you some real stuff. What? I thought it's illegal to show little children in fucking bathing suits like this. I thought they can't do this shit. Like, this is straight fucking pedophilia shit. And then look at this fucking photo right here. Jeez. Like, what the fuck is this? Like, you, you, and they probably do this to mess with me on my stream right now. Because I don't know why they put up a bunch of little fucking children in bathing suits. But, like, what the fuck is this? Like, you have all these little children. Like, first of all, why the fuck are they... Like, that's just too... Like, who... What parent... And that's probably, like, a fake photo. But, like, you have these fucking women. And then look at how you have these little girls. Like, this is fucking raunchy as fuck. But look at this fucking photo. Like, this is highly fucking sexual. And they have it right in with... Look at, like, with a bunch of little fucking girls. Like, this is fucking ridiculous. I thought you couldn't have fucking. Well, that actually photo may be been good to use on this, but I thought you couldn't put little fucking uh, little girls in fucking bathing suits like that. And I wanted to search this because I didn't want to fucking. It's got to be like a provocative pose. So, anyways, either way, don't fucking call me a pervert right now because what I'm gonna show you right now.
Well, I'm not seeing the pose I want to fucking pull up with this. Okay, bear with me. Again, I said don't call me a pervert. I told you it was going to be fucking provocative. But this is good for your information if you don't know this. So I hope you didn't run out of here. But Or this is good for anyone. It's not just good for you. And you may already know this or whatever. But this is for anybody. So, Because I actually wanted to do a video on this before. So I thought this was really interesting that... Um, With this photo, our wall is cause. So, what is it called? It's called the anal lim or analima. So it's the sun's path in the sky. So with the analima, we have the anal. So with the phallic sign, we have the phallic. Uh, we have the penis reference. Referencing with the phallic sign and the and the phallics and the obelisk in Washington D.C., so they're huge on all these sexual referencing. But um, with the and then with the 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 Freemason fucking um, the Vesica Pisces is also the brown eye or the booty hole. The brown eye is thirty three. Um, Divine feminine is fifty three. Ves or I think divine. F Divine Feminine and the Brown Eye have like same matching numbers, I think. I don't remember what they are. But with this Analima, the anal. So, oh, did I do it backwards? Or no, that's the right way. So this is like a female fucking number. Like the referencing of this number is feminine. Because if you overlap it, and again, bear, oh, oh yeah, that's the right way. So do you see that? <laughs> Isn't that crazy? So I'll end it on that, people. <laughs> so, and I'll, that, that, those little girls in bathing suits, I don't know what the fuck that is, but they need to fucking, like, that shit, I thought that shit was illegal or something. So, you know, I don't agree with women dressing like this, but, you know, I sound like a fucking womanizer when I do that. But this is that. And actually, I should probably use this as a... I probably should do a video on this, okay? Let me get this little photo together. This came out nice. This came out nice. <laughs> And see, I don't even know why. And I, I, to the people who check out my page, then I, I'll just do it for you guys. But I don't know why I share this with like other people, like on Twitter and shit. Like those people ain't showing no fucking love and support for all the fucking high quality content that I'm putting out. And I'm like, these motherfuckers are just haters or something on Twitter. 
and free to find truth. Like, those people, like, I don't know what's up with all those people, but, uh. I have to do something with that. But there you go. There's your figure eight. There's your number eight. So your 88 is kind of like a fucking little lesbian thing. And I'm not saying you're a lesbian or anything. But so your 88, you have two females, right? So like you're fucking... Uh, Um, I mean, there's a lot to 88, like the 88, I think the pinnacle of truth is 88 as well, but there's your fucking, uh, those are like, so if you, you don't look like you could do the thing about these numbers is you could do it in uh it doesn't always just have to be the gematria. Thanks for controlling that with 177. Society of Jeezy. So this is like two females, right? Like a fucking lesbian, <laughs> lesbian thing. Um, I'm probably gonna have. I'm probably gonna do a video on this now, cause I actually now I remember I wanted to do this already. So there's your fucking, there's your 88 for you. One one meaning of it. I'm not saying you mean that or anything, and you may have knew that already. So. Oh, so you play poker, huh? Straight equals 88? Oh, Kathy. Oh, this is Kathy. This is fucking... Uh... Well, I remember you. I remember you in Zach's chat. I remember you had a wrench and all that. And then sometimes I didn't like some... Sometimes me and you didn't have an agreement. So that was when... But then I definitely didn't like when fucking Zach fucking... Was like all rude to you and stuff. Like when you called into his show and then Zach was like basically hung up on you and like. So yeah, I definitely know who you are. I already knew who you were, but I didn't know you're Kathy. The Scottish Rite, you know, I don't think I've ever added the to Scottish Rite. I mean, I do Scottish Rite, but... And see, that's the thing about that Zach dude, is that, like, all the people that have been heavy supporters of him... Like, isn't it odd with Zach that, and I know you're like, you're a big supporter of Zach, but I think it's pretty odd that all the people like me, you and other people I've talked to, like the people who had like the most support, like has, he's been like rude to all of us. So I'm like, why does this dude, uh, it's just a little odd to me that like. Zach always talks about... Oh, crap, I closed the wrong thing. It's just a little odd that he talks about how the people, he needs more support, but then the people who supports him most, he like fucking treats us all rude and shit. Like I never did nothing to that dude. All he did is treat me rude a bunch of times. So I said, you know what? I have super valuable information and it's almost like this guy doesn't want my content to get out. So I know your guys' situation was a little different, but like. And I know sometimes it's like if someone like I could see if you guys are reaching out to him a lot and he's like, oh, I'm, I'm busy and all that stuff. 
Oh yeah, I got a connection to this 134. But the 134, so that's like a, that that tree of life number and stuff. But yeah, I always have I have these fucking connections in my name to this fucking Scottish right. And the fucking Jesuit order and fucking I have all kinds of crazy shit on my name. On my real name. Oh, there's the 108, the psychological operation. Oh, the 72, what does Zach say? The 72 books of fucking, uh, or the 72 names of God or what, what not. Okay, well, hopefully I didn't scare you away with that fucking showing you that little fucking uh, little sexual thing. But I didn't make that up. That's what they. Uh, that's what they. Uh, that's what they mean behind that. So thank you guys for tuning in. Thanks for anyone getting to this part of the video. I appreciate it. Um, but have a good night.